am free. I am free. I am free. He paid it on the cross. Yeah, I am free. Every chain is broken. Yeah, I am free. Every chain is broken. I am free. Every chain is broken. I am free. Every chain is broken. I am free. Thank you, Lord, for your free. I am free. I am free. I am free. I am. I am free. Lord, I am free. Here I am. 
Yes, you are.
He broke every chain. He broke every chain. He broke every chain. Lift me at the altar with my heart. Lift me at the altar with my heart. Lift me at the altar with my heart. Put your hands together for the King of Kings. Could you put your hands together for the King of Kings? And while you're clapping, could you shout the highest praise? Shout the highest praise. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hey. Hey. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. What an awesome God we serve. What an awesome God we serve. I don't think I'm hearing you. Maybe it's my mic. What an awesome God we serve. Oh, hallelujah. I thought I'm the only one that was thinking he's awesome. Or knows he's awesome. If you truly want to know how awesome he is, look back at five years ago. Look back at where he took you from. Hallelujah. Look back at the bot battles that he delivered you out of. He 
if you truly want to look at how awesome he is don't look at now look back at where you were hallelujah somebody look back at when you were broken hearted come on now when friends and families failed you hallelujah when walls were crumbling down and you did not know what to do look back at what he did if he is awesome if he is awesome then you truly deserve to praise him Oh, I wish you'd clap your hands much better than that. Oh, hallelujah. The God who we serve. You're singing the song, Meet me, at, leave me at the altar with my father. Hallelujah. Leave me at the altar with my father. The God that we serve in this house. God of results. He's a God of breakthroughs. Come on now. He's a God of deliverance. He's a God of miracles. Come on now. The moment you walk through these doors, already God is working on your situation. Hallelujah. So, I'm here to do offerings, but I do not want spectators. Come on now. You see, I'm, in anything that I do, I do it with the best of my ability. Amen. I do it with the best of my ability. My eyes are not on anyone. Oh, come on now. I'm being very specific and individual now. I'm talking to every person. I'm talking to your spirits. Hallelujah. Have you ever seen a, a situation where they throw money in the air? They just throw cash in the air. And people, they don't care who is there, who they bump into, or who they step on they don't care about that that's the attitude you need to have in this service yeah I'm getting what's mine oh come on now somebody I'm getting what's mine because when I go home I know what I have to deal with I, I hope you're catching me now I'm doing what? I'm getting what's mine. Hallelujah, somebody. I'm getting what's mine. I don't care about the person standing next to me. Oh, I'm sorry now, but I really don't. I'm here for myself. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm here for myself. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Now, God will not meet you here with with somebody else he'll meet you alone amen. come on now somebody so I want you to be ready amen, amen. you're in a house of prophets amen. hallelujah amen. you're in a house of prophets amen. hallelujah and God does nothing without speaking to his prophets I'm not saying that God doesn't talk to you he does you're his child but he does nothing unless he reveals it to his prophets. It's your Bible. So the very fact that you're here means that there is something that you want God to do through the man of God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. So I want you to prepare an offering to give but I also want you to catch a revelation of where you are hallelujah we give with understanding 
as you prepare to give. Catch a revelation of where you are. Amen. The atmosphere that you're giving into. The altar that you're placing your offering on. Hallelujah. I want every person to stand up. I know you're preparing. For those that are joining us online, God bless you richly. Thank you for worshiping with us. We are excited for you. From all over the world, every person that is tuning in, we celebrate God for you. Hallelujah. Please, could you stand up, every person, if you are able to stand. Every person in the house has a desire. And you have a request from God. Now, this part of the service, what it does is it prepares you for what's getting ready to happen spiritually amen that's the reason why i'm taking my time because i don't want to get too excited and then you don't or forget or miss what is getting ready to happen amen somebody if you're giving go to prof go to profit oh we're not in the conference sorry go to kingdommembersychurch.com ushers are passing around envelopes as well for those that are able to give cash go to kingdomembassychurch.com or you can go to our paypal kingdom embassy inc you can also give on our cash app dollar sign kingdom embassy inc Every person raise up your offerings. You know, Apostle said we're in a season of a hundredfold. But I want to challenge people. I want to challenge people to give your best. You know what your best is. Amen know what your best is and you know what you're believing God for it is personal to you amen somebody amen somebody amen. raise your offerings high lift it up even the persons in the overflow lift your hands lift your offerings up even those that are watching us online. Also, if you are writing a check, please make it out to Kingdom Embassy Church. Lift your offerings up. Father, we thank you for every gift. We thank you for every giver. Lord, your word declares, your word is like rain. Hallelujah. You said, my word that I have sent forth will not return unto me void, but it shall go and it shall accomplish what I have sent it to do. Father, your word says, if we give, if we give, then it shall be given back unto us. Father, in multitudes, in multiples, in increase, you said it like this. Give and it shall be given back to you. Press down. Shaken together. And running over. Hallelujah. Father your word is sure. You said you open a window in heaven. Oh yes you did. Let gates be open. Let windows be open. Let portals be open. Let there be a dimension now. 
mia ato shekai. Let angels ikuvun di aiden leva ikoske de aiden ko. Ma asote le ehida bahai. Let angels be released now. Bless every gift, bless every giver. Let this week be a week of testimonies. Let there be tenders. Let there be contracts. Let there be favor. Let there be a phone call. Let there be a connection with a connection that will bring a connection that will bring success. Father, bring strangers from the east, the west, the north, and the south to minister and to bless your people. Let blessings overtake every person connecting now to the grace and to the anointing on this house. I command the angels of this house to move on behalf of every son and daughter in this house, every visitor, every member, even those that are watching us online. Father, do it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. And we shout the loudest amen you can. Shout it if you agree. Shout it if you agree. The ushers will direct you on when to come and give. Your goodness is running after running after me your goodness is running after it's running after me your goodness your goodness is running after it's running after me your goodness is running after it's running after me your goodness is running after it's running after me your goodness with my life laid down, with my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running out. It's running out. It's running out, it's running out. With my life laid down, with my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running out, it's running out to me. Your goodness, your goodness is running out, it's running out to me. Your goodness is running out, it's running out to me. Your goodness is running out, it's running out for me. Your goodness is running out, it's running out. With my life laid down, with my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running out, it's running out for me. Your goodness is running out, it's running out. Your goodness is running out, it's running out to me. Your goodness is running out, it's running out to me. Your goodness is running out, it's running out. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running out, it's running out.
from up here. Amen. It is fire up here. Amen. Hey. Hallelujah. The fire don't stop just for announcements, right? Yep. Hallelujah. Praise God. You may take your seat. We welcome each and every one of you that is in the building today. We also welcome all of our online viewers. Everybody put your hands together for our online viewers. Thank you so much for connecting with us online. You truly will be blessed just as well. We know that there is no distance in the spirit. Amen. Amen. At this moment, we do want to take some time to really honor our spiritual parents. It is our custom in this house because some of us have come to this altar broken, broke, lives falling hey. apart. But when we connected to the parents Jesus. of this house, hey. we began to be restored. Personally, myself, that's my testimony. Yeah. This altar restored my life. Amen. Amen. So if you can, at least stand up on your feet so we can give honor to the man of God, hey. to the woman of God of this house, Prophet Passion Java and Prophetess Lily Java. We do celebrate and we honor grace here in this house. Amen. Hallelujah. You all may take your seats. And the vision of this house is we are a people of prayer preparing the church for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Amen. And also throughout the week, so we have so many things happening here at Kingdom Embassy, but throughout the week on Monday through Saturday, we have our morning devotion. Amen. With our Papa, Prophet Passion Java, and the Apostle of Solutions. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you can connect with us with morning devotion on Facebook, at Pop Passion Java, YouTube, Prophet Passion, and Zoom. If you do not have the Zoom link, you can connect with Pastor Wallace after service, and we'll get you all set for Zoom. Amen. Also, on Tuesdays, we do have our Kingdom Embassy prayer line because we truly are a people of prayer. Amen. And that's on Tuesdays at 9 o'clock p.m., and you can get on that Zoom as well and tap into the power of prayer. You can contact the office at 301-503-7144. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're going to talk a little bit more about our Papa, our Father in the Lord. Our Papa just came out with a new book called The Power of Interpretation. Everybody put your hands together. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
You can go on ProfitPassion.com and download your ebook copy. Amen. Also, you can connect with the pop with the prophet on our special WhatsApp sonship group, and you get direct prophetic lessons from the prophet himself. Amen. You also can follow the prophet on Facebook, Passion Java, on YouTube, Prophet Passion, and on Instagram, Prophet Passion. Amen. Amen. So let's talk about our mother in the Lord, Prophetess Lily Java. Whoop. Powerful Whoop. woman of God. We love you, mama. We love you. We do. We have some amazing things that are coming up in the next week and month. First, we have our Ahava Women's Service. All of our Ahava Women, stand up for me. If you are Ahava, an Ahava woman in this house, stand up and make some noise. Hallelujah. We have that service this Saturday at 5 p.m. with our special guest, Miss Chantel Griffith. Hallelujah. And the topic is the power of meditation. Hallelujah. That's something that um, a lot of people don't really talk about in the church, but meditation is very, very powerful, especially whenever you know the source. Amen. Hallelujah. So we have that coming up this weekend. You can RSVP at ahavawomen.com. Amen. We also have our next daughter's group live March 11th. The doors are open at 2 p.m., and you can register at lilyjava.org. So with, for the daughters group, the in-house seats fill up very, very fast. So if you can, go to lilyjava.org and go ahead and register so you can get your in-person ticket. Amen. You can also follow the prophetess on Facebook at Prophetess Lily Java, on YouTube, lilyjava777, and Instagram, lily underscore java. Amen. Also, everyone came in through the bookstore, and I saw, I know you all saw the books and the anointing oil and all of that. All of that is for you. So if you want to purchase it after service, please go to our Welcome Center, grab that, take it home, amen. We know that it will be a point of contact as you are connecting with this altar, amen. You can follow us on all social media platforms and tag us today as you take videos, as you take pictures. I know everybody has their phones. Right? Team iPhone. Amen. <laughs> Everyone has their phones. Make sure you take pictures and videos, but tag us at Kingdom Embassy Church, at Lily Java, and at Prophet Passion. Everybody put your hands together for the announcements. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now we're going to transition into a special time that I love is our testimony time. Hallelujah. And this is the testimony time is really one of my favorites because it's a, a chance for people to really to come and testify of the goodness of the Lord from this altar. You know, there are many words that are being spoken and there are people that actually doubt the things that are happening here. Some people think it's staged or whatever, but these are real testimonies from people that have encountered the God of prophet passion that have encountered the God of Prophetess Lily Java, and they are coming in with real testimony. So we're going to welcome our first testimony to the stage. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for our sister Chelsea. Please tell us what the Lord has done for you. Well, I was here for the women's conference. Sorry if I get a little emotional. It's whew, Mama Lily has touched my heart. Um, she called out my name. And I did not expect this to happen. Um, but she was prophesying over me. And while she was prophesying over me, she saw my brother, Jacob, who's been wrestling for many years. This kid is a powerful, called one. <laughs> and the enemy has done everything he could to try to take his life, to try to take his mind. And I have been in a battle over this kid's life for a long time. And Mama Lily had had me sow a seed. She pr she prayed for him, and I am like, I'm just in awe. He called me about four days later, and, and this kid has had many attacks against his mind, and in the world, they'll, you know, they try to, oh, you're bipolar, you're, and if anyone in here, I'm so sorry to say, but a lot of it is demonic. It is a demon from hell that tries to take your mind, and this kid called me, and he said, Sis, I don't know what's happened, but I am, like, so clear in my mind. Hallelujah. Put Jesus. your hands together. Hallelujah. Jesus. 
So Prophetess Lily Java located you, not just you, your brother. Yes. Spoke a word. Yes. And four days later, hallelujah, the four answer days. came. Yes. And this kid said to me, he said, I, and he was just happy. He's excited. You know, the, the demon that's been fighting him was depression. And he's like, I've been feeling so good. You know, he's in prison. <laughs> and this kid's like, I've been feeling good. I'm working out. He's like, I'm writing a lot. And I was just like, wow, the grace of God on. Thank you, I will Jesus. Tell you, this mother, this father. Thank you, Jesus. There is, a, there is a moment in time when the Lord chooses to connect you to a rank. Yes. There is a rank. I have had many, many people in the church try to pray for this situation. I haven't had breakthrough. And I knew, you know, I'm a daughter of Prophet Lovi, and, and, and I know I'm connected to, to a power. And when I connected to this father and this mother, my life, there's, my life has changed through Prophet Lovi, Prophetess Taryn, but these two right here, they carry a rank. Ooh, there's Jesus. certain battles that you fight that you cannot fight on your Come own. Come on. This is true. Hey. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. Hey. She is talking about our spiritual parents. Hallelujah. Amen. So Prophetess Taryn is actually a mentor mother to me. And what you guys are about to receive today, she is a powerhouse. She is Amen. a gift. I am telling you what is in this woman has changed my life. And so I just want to give honor to where honor is due to Prophetess Mama Lily, to, to Papa Passion, to Prophet Passion, and to Prophetess Taryn, to Prophet Lovi. What we have in this family, you guys, wow, wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you so much, hey. Sister Chelsea, for that powerful testimony. Amen. This is real. Amen. This is the altar. This is the papa and the mother of this house. Amen. We're going to welcome our next testimony to the stage. Good morning, church. Uh, I must honor the grace in this house. I've been blessed in ways hmm. it's going to blow your mind. So I have two testimonies, but I'm going to share the first one first. So. On the crossover night, the night of fire, Papa located, he was prophesying to somebody about a dream they had. And I, I began to scream and I said, my wife had that exact dream. And he began to prophesy to me. He said, ah, you stole the prophecy. Long story short, he located my wife. He went to my home. He spoke about our dream. And he said, it is done. <laughs> the confusion, it's over. So four days later, the paperwork, everything just went through just like boom. So Jesus. How many days? Four days. Four days. Hallelujah. So that was the first. Uh, so I emptied my account here. I left. I went back to New York. Had bills to pay. Everything just came in. A brrr. You know when your account just goes in red like zzz. It was just like that. So came. I'm working. I'm paying off these bills. And Apostle Wallace sent the invite for the conference. And, oh, before that, I came to this altar, and I began to, every week I'm here. And I'm tithing $200, and I'm saying, Father, I need to make at least $2,000 per week in order to clear off my debt. So I began to tithe in faith, and that has been working as clockwork. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you hmm. said you began to tithe in faith? Yes. Jesus. Continue. <laughs> My God. So that has been able so far. Uh, all of that came down to two weeks ago, Apostle Wallace, while he was ministering, he came down there, Mama Lily, they were prophesying, they were praying, to pe praying for people. And Apostle Wallace, he came to me and he said, court says money is not a problem. Money is not a problem. I began to rejoice <laughs> because I knew. I said, Father. You said that I will have money that I don't, I wouldn't know what to do with it. So why is it I'm just, nothing, as it comes, it goes. So I am here. I'm praying for people. Everybody's receiving, receiving, receiving. I'm telling people about financial breakthroughs and they're receiving it. And I'm like, Lord, what is going on with my life? I said, the anointing, the grace. Uh, I am releasing people are seeing miracles. But when it comes to my life, I'm not seeing it. So I left, I went back home, I began to pray, I began to fast. 
Papa Wallace send the um, Apostle Wallace send the Zoom for this conference last weekend. So when he sent the Zoom, I said, oh my God, I don't know where this money is coming from. I said, oh Lord, I need to find $5,000. My wife had to, had to have $2,000 for kids' school fees and stuff like that. I began to pray. I got a discount from the school fees in the amount of $1,200. Uh, that is first testimony. Jesus. Hallelujah. The next one. So fast forward. Uh, I'm preparing for the conference. I'm saying, Lord, I need at least $4,000 more to get to this conference. I called my, I sent Apostle Wallace a message and I said, Apostle, I don't have the money, but I, I am coming. I'm going to get the money. So I called my, my property manager and I said to him, I said, I need a check for $2,000. He said, okay. That was Wednesday night. I went, I pick up that check and I'm on my way. <laughs> Her client called me and she said, I know we have this project to start, but I'm sending you advance now. We're going to start late. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you so much, brother, for that. That's, that's powerful. It's a powerful testimony. Hallelujah. We thank you so much. Hallelujah. So I got all the money, and I'm here, and I receive exactly what I came for. Because I said, God, I need the power to change my life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey. Connect with this testimony. Hallelujah. Hey. Thank you, oh. Jesus. We're going to call our next testimony to the stage. Our brother John, how are you? Good morning, church. Man, I just got to start with saying God is good. Hallelujah. Man, oh. <laughs> I, I didn't know of this church four days ago. And I didn't know about the prophecy. How many days ago? Four. Four days. <laughs> four days. And I just, I just encountered this... Uh, this prophetic move, yeah. uh, only a couple weeks before with uh, my papa, uh, Yaya, and he brought me here, and uh, some of the last money I had to get here, and uh, it was just this season of emptying myself, and I came here so full of fear, so full of doubt, uh, and, and so full of boundaries and walls because I was afraid to let anything else in, and... Um, Man, I, the man who was just up here before saw me that first day, and he told me to fast. And I didn't need anything, <laughs> and I'm so grateful I did because I gave myself that room to allow God in. Amen. And, and so often I've gone to money to do that or food to do that or whatever, drugs, drinks, anything, and, and it won't do it. <laughs> and coming here and, and experiencing that, so powerful, so powerful. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I came here with a very special intention. My papa, yeah, yeah, I said, come with, come with an expectation, a clear expectation. I prayed over it for the whole plane ride here from Florida. And it was for family. And uh, growing up, I had my parents divorced and just never really felt home. And uh, I feel that here. So. <laughs> Hey. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you so much, Brother John. We thank you so much. Four days. Each and every testimony has been four days. So receive your miracle now and may it manifest in four days. Amen. Blessings. Blessings. How are you? Um, I want to give honor where honor is due. Honor to all the leadership in the house. You are all wonderful, wonderful people. Men of God, women of God. So... I started coming to this church last year, and a few months ago, I received a prophetic word that did not fill me with too much joy. Um, it was really challenging for me to accept that word, and over the last few months, I've been really having to struggle with accepting it. Let me tell you, God is interested in what you do not want to give him. God, you don't, God wants what you do not want to give. And so... Um, last night, well, I, so I, my goal this year has been to apply for a master's program. Um, and last night, I got on the altar, and I was praying, and I sowed the, a seed of the application amount for my master's program, um, which I applied to last week. 
the application is due on Wednesday, so the applications are still open. The university is not, is not sending out decisions until April. But I did that last night, and this morning I woke up with the acceptance. Hallelujah! <laughs> Hallelujah! And this is the altar. Hallelujah! My God! Jesus, hallelujah. May we be satisfied early in Jesus' name. Hey. Okay. Hallelujah. So, so the prophetic word is um, uh, my husband and I came up here. And um, <laughs> so my husband and I came up here. Um, and Papa prophesied about, uh, um, you know, our relationship and how we met. Um, and he talked about the ministries that we would have in our 30s. And my, my husband and I. Um, have been having a disagreement about um, having a child. So um, my, my husband's like, as soon as I, like, we can, I want to have a child. And I didn't want to have a child for 10 more years. Hey. Hey. Wow. hey. Wow. No, no, no. I'm, y'all, I'm young. Y'all, I'm really young. So, um, so I was like, I don't, I don't really want that. And then Papa, he's like, he says, y'all have, have a, had a, this disagreement. Um, and you need to have this baby. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, um, so <laughs> I, that's what I was praying about. I was like, God, I, I will start trying for the baby if I get the master's program. And I did. And you got God, accepted. God, hey. Early. You got accepted hey. early. Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for these amazing testimonies. We really praise God. We thank God. For our papa, for our mama, we thank God for this altar. Many, 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 many prayers have been answered miraculously, and we thank God. At this moment, we're going to stand to our feet. Hallelujah. As we welcome the worship stage team back on the stage, and we're going to go into a moment of worship as we prepare our hearts and as we prepare our minds to receive our miracles today and to be located so that you all may come and testify of the goodness of God from this altar. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Give God a shout of praise in his house. Hallelujah. All the other gods. You are the most I got. Yeah, 
much space up here for you guys to say you're praising God. Way too much space. If you're not afraid to praise God, if you're not afraid to dance in his presence, yeah. come on. Jehovah, you are the most high. You are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. Hey, you are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. You are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. You are the most high.
again. But it's going to go hey, like this. Hey. This God is going to say, Jehovah. And this guy's side is going to say, you are the most high. Are you ready? Jehovah, you are the most high. You are the most high. Jehovah.
God the most high. Most high. You are 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 the most high. You are the most high, mighty God. You are the most high, holy God. You are the most high, mighty God. You are the most high, holy God. Holy God. You are the most high, mighty God. The greatest, 
Cause you are bigger, bigger than the biggest. You are stronger, stronger than the strongest. You are higher, higher than the highest. You are greater, you are greater, greater than the greatest. You 
Father, we thank you. Today is a special day. A day you are going to speak to us, empower us, anoint us, fire us for your glory, for your work, for your assignment, for the call that you placed upon our lives. Lord, I release grace upon your people. I release favor upon your people. Catapult us to a higher dimension. 
that we may walk in the peace and the power of the Holy Ghost. Renomoso paka di bonta radieto, iraka po salahate, riko paradaba sintelebediahate. Fire somebody's mouth with your tongues, with your fire, with your anointing. Anoint somebody's lips, Lord, for your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Cobra haste. Kibro hastas. Shiba ba 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 ye. Jesus name. Amen. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands for Jesus. 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 I'm a warrior, a Christian warrior. With me weapon, in army right hand. I am a warrior, a Christian warrior. With me weapon, in army right hand. J. J, a strong J, J, E, e S, S, U, U S, S. Whom do we have? Jesus. Whom do we have? Jesus. Whom do we have? Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Glory in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Glory. Oh. Today it's too much, too much, too much. God is about to do something, something great. We have uh, Apostle Innocent Jal. We have. The ego that never learns. Oh, yeah. We have the Mama T. And T. Hey, 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 hey. And then I'll close. Four in one. Your life will never be the same. Yes. So the prophetess Sarin is going to start. And bless the people. And the ego that never lands is going to pick it from there. And the apostle would take it from there. So it's a marathon poopy today. It's a relay. Hey! So the fire is going to be more than fire. It's going to be a flame of fire. Every demonic activity in your house, fire. Any sickness in your body, fire. Lack of peace, fire. Lack of marriage, fire. Poverty, fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. So I'm going to welcome the anointed, glorified, powerful prophetess Tyrene. Clap your hands and receive it in the mighty name of Jesus.
clap your hands for Jesus. I said, clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. I don't know about this response. I don't know if they're ready for the prophetic. From what I'm hearing, it seemed a little, it seemed a little flat in here. You know, heaven is loud. I said it responds. I, I don't know if they're ready for the prophetic in here today. They sound like they're getting ready, but are you ready for the power of the Holy Spirit to come in here? Glory! Hallelujah! Somebody shout fire! Somebody shout fire! Somebody shout fire three times! Somebody yell prophesy! Glory to God. Amen, amen, amen. I want to, while you're standing on your feet, recognize I thank Jesus so much because he's so amazing that he would give us a father. Not just a father, but a father of fathers. If you guys knew the gift that is in the man of God, this man of God is not just any man of God. This man of God touches people and gives of himself more than any person I have ever seen in my life. He cares for everyone where you feel like, Grandpapa, it feels like we're your only child, like we're the only one. You, make, you love us like there's not a million trying to reach you every day. And you're engaged with us and you care so much to set us free and to give what God has given you. I thank you for everything that you went through, everything you did for us, Adidas. I did us, thank you. I am today a product of my father, Prophet Lovi Elias, because you touched him and he touched me. And I thank you so much. Let me right. thank God, amen. If you guys only knew <laughs> what this man of God has done. Chalabaka. It's exciting to see because to be in this house is such an honor. I cannot take this lightly. This family is something that in a lifetime, in a 10 lifetimes, in a 100 lifetimes, many people will never experience. But you guys are in the midst of what God is doing. Oh, that's so, we're going to have to pick it up from here. I don't know what is going on, but I release, if the angels have to come and praise, they will, because they will join us. Heaven responds to now noise and sound. You can pull from your seat and the heaven will answer you. I have sat in that seat and pulled and God answered me. If you want God to answer you, I want you to begin to keep a praise. I want you to begin to respond to heaven because heaven is looking at you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I do thank God for my father, Prophet Lovi. He really, he really gave us such impartation this weekend. The revelation was so deep. And I know where I was when they connected with me several years ago. I am the product of what you see. When you see me, you should see yourself. For anyone of you who don't know, I literally remember borrowing money to sow. Borrowing money to sow. Giving, emptying my bank account every week for almost two, three years, every, every service. Being challenged. And one day, somebody say one day. That was a week one day. That was enough for your mother-in-law. But I said, one day. one day. See, your body has a way where it prophesies. There's a posture. Like if you give the echo right, then it begins to find you back. So when you say one day, today might be your day. One day. One day. One day. The man of God stood in front of me and he had a bold look. I can still see him. And he said, your life will never be the same. 
He said, from today forth, I'm telling you, by the time I got to the car, my son was prophesy prophesying in the car and speaking in tongues for the first time. Hey! When I got to the car. One day. One day. Somebody say one day. One day. One word from the man of God shifted my entire life. Shifted my entire finances. Shifted me from single to married. Shifted me from no houses to two houses. One in, day. One day. Oh, did I say in one year, two houses in one year? One day. One day. I'm telling you, we're in the right place, at the right time, doing the right thing. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. If you can turn with me in your Bibles to Genesis, the 11th chapter. Today, we're going to talk about spiritual teleportation. Hey. I said spiritual teleportation. One day. One day. They're going to catch on. Every time we say one day, you should shout it back. I said one day. One day. Touch your neighbor and say, today is my day. Today is my day. Tell the next person, today is my day. I prophesy to you, today is your day. Glory to God. Amen. You ready? Read with me out loud, please, and read with passion. And the whole earth was one of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed through the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, go to let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, go to, let us build as a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built. And the Lord said, behold, the people is one, and they have all all one language and this they began to do and nothing now nothing shall be restrained from them which they have imagined to do you may be seated as one day one day <laughs> as you're shouting one day I have to say I want to thank God for my amazing awesome Apostle Bishop my husband there is none like the Bishop he is so amazing when I say when your adult kids are, look at him and are like Papa Bishop, Papa B, when your adult kids love as if you birthed them yourself, that's a good man. <laughs> oh, somebody must not want marriage in the room. <laughs> Amen. So I'm going to go to here. We're this, this scripture here in the sixth verse. And the Lord said, behold, the people is one. It sounds like it's a urban vernacular or it sounds like it's Ebonics or something. Why are they saying is one? The people is one. The people is one because there is the unity that they're carrying here. And this type of unity, it says here that they is one and they have one language. And this they began to do. And now nothing, somebody say nothing, nothing. will be restrained from them. Meaning you can do anything if you have this type of mentality. What I'm going to teach you today, you can do anything with your life and you can go places that your feet have never entered. You can begin to access things that you are going to have ne you, that is impossible for others. You can begin to have things that people could only dream or imagine, but it's available to you because he said here that nothing will be restrained from you. Other people say, oh, that's impossible. It's impossible for you. But for me, I have access because God has given me access. Nothing shall be restrained from me. You are not people. Their situation is not your situation. It may have took them 10 years, 20 years. will take you 10 days. 
It will take you 10 days because you have the favor of God. You have what belongs to this house. You have access to the favor. You have access to the grace. You have access to the prophetic. You have access to the imagination of the Lord. You have access of vision. You have signs, wonders, release. You have access. Nothing shall be restrained from you. I know they're telling you their story. They mean to be nice, but you just say, thank you, absolutely. And you continue because nothing shall be restrained from me. I have a saying that I say all the time. If you know it, you can begin to shout it and say it. But I say, my God will change rules, regulations, policies, and procedures for me. I said, my God will change rules, regulations, policies, and procedures for me. I haven't been a witness of this because I decree it everywhere I go. They always tell me, no, that's not a policy of ours. I'm not moved. They always tell me, we don't do that here. I said, uh-huh, can I speak to your manager? They always tell me, it's never been done before, but because I'm here, nothing shall be restrained from me. Do you know the angel that I walk with? Do you know what I carry? If you know what's inside of you, nothing shall be restrained from you. So I want to take you somewhere. Sit down, give me two seconds. So something I'm going to unlock in you is literally, if you know about Adam, in the garden, everything was easy for him. God did everything for them. They didn't have to say it. They just had to think it. I want some water. Water comes. Oh, I would like to be by the lake. The lake is right there. Oh, just flowers, flowers up here. There was no labor in it. God would come each day to see them. He was the, uh, the relationship. He was everything. He provided for you. He took care of you. He had all your needs. If you thought it, he brought it to you. It was the most, it was the most dynamic thing. They didn't know bad because all they knew was good. He was always there. They didn't have to work for anything. I want you to know, understand, in this place, in this garden, it was created where God was the provider. They were, he was their shepherd. It, it was so amazing. It was very, the access. They had his presence. They had everything, angels. They had, oh my goodness, the colors and the rainbows and anything they even imagined they had. So the fall of Adam happens. Now, we heard yesterday, one thing that began to happen as soon as they, their, their, their eyes their eyelids actually open. What we know is that they were in a place called Eden. We know in this place called Eden that realistically you have to understand something. That angels and, and that there's a realm. There's like another realm outside of this atmosphere. There's a dimension there. And there's like a spiritual immigration police there. Right? How, they're like, what is that? Daniel the 10th chapter said that they was detained by the prince of Persia. So he had to call Archangel Michael to come and battle him. And it took 21 days battle to get through the breach. Oh, by the end of today, I'm gonna tell you how to get past that breach a little faster. I'm gonna tell you how to get past that breach faster than 21 days. I'm going to show you how to get there faster. There's immigration because in the outer realm, you know, there's the everlasting realm and there's these different dimensions, right? But out there, they don't talk with their mouth like we talk. In that dimension, you can think it and you know, as we said yesterday, the Satan said in his heart, he did not even speak it. He just thought it and he was expelled and cast out based on those things. What happened to Satan? He was kicked out. He was cast out and he was put out and he was fighting, found himself fighting against God. That was his, his, that's what he received. So now he comes to earth. Now watch this. He said it in his heart. So in that dimension, everything is about your thoughts. If a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Now your thoughts determine so much. And I don't, oh, don't get ahead of myself. I'm going to just make it where you understand this thing. In that dimension, everybody is able to operate and communicate like that. So when the angels were talking to Adam and Eve, and when God was talking to them, they were talking by thoughts. 
right? So, and then in the Bible, it said God created. We know that in God created, that everything was created in his mind first. Everybody following me? So, and then it, something happened that shook everything. It said, and God said, because the dimension, when you come out of that dimension into this earth dimension, you have to speak something to manifest something. Oh, no, no, they didn't hear me. Now, it comes from the thought. Uh, it was already done. The Bible said that the heaven and earth ceased, everything was done, and Genesis, the second chapter in the first verse. It was already done. So everything was done in his mind. That's how Jesus was crucified before the foundation of the earth. It was already done. If people even knew that they got things from the spirit, they could access things before their time. I said they could access them before their time. Oh, they were picking up things in the spirit. How do you think Isaiah, he was a prophet out of his time because he was prophesying something that was so far ahead. He was bruised for my transgressions. He was healed for my iniquities. The chastisement needing to obtain peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. But it doesn't happen for hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years later. So he's already picked up something because it's already done. Somebody say it's already done. So if you have an access to that dimension, you can find out how to get it done for you and you can know where you're going to be. So in the midst, so, so it's already done in the mind. So when he spoke, it said, God said, and he said, and there was, there was an echo and there was, and there was. So now in this dimension, he began to speak. So when Adam and Eve now, they got knowledge from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The information, who gives you information, determines what's going to happen to you next. Some pastor said, there are no prophets. And you see all those Christian police that have no power online and people who don't know because someone told them wrong information. I, I know we can look at them, but let me show you this. Let me break it home a little bit more to you. So Eve has a conversation with someone that introduces her to this. You should not surely die. Blah, 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 blah. Partially he's telling the truth and he's partially twisting it because he's a deceiver. Now watch this. Who you get your information from is also giving you an impartation of what their experience was. Satan was also what? Kicked out. And Eve and Adam were kicked out. Eve and Adam were out of the presence of God. And now because of Satan who was out of the presence of God. Do you see the correlation between Satan giving the information and now you got an impartation because of who gave you wrong information? Be careful who you're listening to because their situation, their loss, their marriage that didn't work out that's trying to counsel you, you now your marriage ain't working out because they're giving you their experience and their impartation. So you're listening to somebody who has wrong information. This knowledge is a stronghold now. It's a stronghold inside of them because now you have now the experience of another person that did not belong to you. He actually wanted what you had. He wanted what you had. So he came as a snake and they could not see who he was because of what my papa said yesterday. He said, there's an ox, there's the face of a man, there's an eagle, and there is a uh, lion. So they were familiar. So he comes in deceptively as Mom, dad, friend, teacher, doctor, lawyer, pastor, prophet with a title maybe. So they came in with these titles and they snuck in and you believed them, but they're telling you their experience. So now you cannot enter in either because you took their knowledge and you got it in your mind and now their, their situation is your situation. I'm going to help you. 
So watch what happens. So God comes and they no longer, they were in the spirit realm before. They could see him, but now with their natural eyes, they have never seen him. They can only hear him and it scared them because they don't understand what's going on. Now, God does something mighty. That's a whole other story about why he told them, put them out. Not because he was being mean to them, because he didn't want them to partake of another tree that could keep them like that forever. The tree of life. In that fallen state, if they touched the tree, they would have remained in that fallen state. And God loved them so much that he put them out so that he could restore them. It was a good thing that they were afflicted. You, if you stayed in the garden, they might have touched it. And if they touched it, they would have remained in that state. But God's plan is always to redeem you. So watch what happens. So the, I, I read about Adam after. So when they're out of the garden, guess what? They, he is in a depression. Why? Because to be in the presence of God and then not be in the presence of God. Oh, are you kidding me? After you have known Jesus and walked with Jesus and talked with him and then nothing? Oh, my goodness. I can't. That is why Jesus was crying out, why have you forsaken me? He never, he wasn't crying because of all this other stuff. It was that he had never been separated from the presence of God. Hey. Hey. The, the fact that it was so much is where his blood, it began to come out of his pores because he didn't have the presence of God with him at that moment. So because he experienced that, that is what caused him to sweat blood. And some of people will trade Jesus for anything. And here he was sweating blood because he knew what it was like to walk and talk and be with him and have access to everything and now have nothing. No. So Adam is in this fallen state. And he said that God told him to go and be with his wife again because he was just like depressed and heavy over the situation. Now watch this. You know why it was hard for him? I can't even tell that yet. So then the first thing you see is the children now. See, remember, God just used to come. Wasn't no offerings or nothing like that. But the way they got God to come down was offerings. In Genesis, the fourth chapter, the Lord was coming down to the children. You don't see him interacting with Adam and Eve anymore because they didn't figure out something I'm going to tell you. But the children have figured out because there's, you know, at that time they have helped. There's still angels and things present. They have figured out if you want to get God to come down, bring an acceptable, acceptable offering. There's, look, some, some people just throw offerings. I don't throw offerings. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm connecting to. I know what I'm seating next to. I know it's got to cost me. If it's been a, a couple months and it didn't uh, stab me in an offering, it's got, I got to feel it. I know you don't like the feeling, but you got to, it's, it, why are you giving an offering and it didn't hurt you? <laughs> Jesus, look at the, the capacity that God gave. He gave his only son, his only. So I always know I need to make sure that I bring an acceptable offering to the Lord. So they're coming and they bring an acceptable offering. We have one he accepted and one he rejected. Amen. Okay, so watch this. Now, they kind of had it where God would still come down. They were able to have access to God, but he never remained walking and talking in the presence of God. It wasn't the same. As years go by, how many of you guys have like grandparents and parents like you know their stories? Let me see. You know your parents' story, how they got together, your grandparents' story. Let me see. Do you guys know them? Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Come on, participate. See, let me tell you, I can tell you my grandfather's story. I have in my phone, if you look at my phone right now, I was looking at it yesterday, of him as a young man just coming out the mountain. He has a striped kind of tan colored with button down shirt and there's a lady with red looking at him, talking to him and a young man is staring at him and he's in amongst some people and he just came off a 40 day past. And when he came off of this 40 day fast, he told them, I'm going to have a Lamborghini. And they laughed at him that day. He told them, take a picture of me. Is the story correct? Why do I know his story? Because I'm a part of him. 
But when I t he tells the story, I'm not just listening. I'm actually, I've never been to Zimbabwe, but now I'm there with him. I see him on the mountain. I see him walking with thongs with a staple in it. I could feel it when he was telling me, I could feel what he went through inside of me. No, I'm not joking, I'm serious. I could feel it inside of me. Him walking, and stay, I could see him giving away all of his suits. And then God tell him, he's down to his favorite suit, still wearing the one suit, because that's the one he loved the most. And God said, give your suit. He said, none of the other ones that you gave mattered. This is the one I wanted you to give, the one, this one. And he gave his only suit that mattered. And then I know what's happened after he gave that last suit. And I know how God began to change him. I know when he gave his house away with the baby stuff in it. And he was there crying out to God. He gave everything in the house because he didn't know, but he knew God wanted something to give an acceptable sacrifice. I know this like I know my parents and my grandparents' story because I'm connected. Oh, they don't know the power of connection. You don't know. I can feel, I could see the, I could see the baby situation. I could see when, when he's telling me, I began to imagine. I actually experienced what he experienced. So if I can experience his suffering. I said, if I can experience his suffering, I can also experience his, his glory because I'm connected. So we know that Adam and Eve, they couldn't get it together. But years are going on when parents and grandparents get old, they start talking. They start telling you everything. They've been the stuff they wouldn't tell you before because they're older. People start confessing everything before they start dying. It's a great time when people are getting ready to die, go to your grandfather, go to your mother, go to your father. There's a mighty impartation that they will give you if they pray for you. That's a whole nother story, but I'm telling you it's wisdom. It's wisdom. So they begin to tell you all these things that nobody knows. If you look to the seventh generation, one of the descendants tapped into something. Adam's getting older. He's talking. You know what it was like in the garden? And the, grandfather, the grandchild, seventh down, his name is Enoch begins to say, tell me, grandfather, great, 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 grandfather, tell me. He says, you could do this and this would happen. God would come and we would do this. Every day we would have this. He said, tell me more. Bedtime stories. Tell me more. Tell me more. He's telling him. And then the next day he comes and says, so what was this like? He said, how did it, what happened like this? When, when, when she came out of, when you woke up, tell me. When you saw her, what was your experience? But Enoch is not just listening to stories. Enoch is imagining so much every day, every day in and out, he's imagining. So he is pulled from the experience of his grandfather, he's pulled from where he was, and he pulled so much, he figured out how to access God. And God said, what are you doing here? He ended up somewhere he wasn't supposed to be. I don't understand, I don't know if they're hearing what I'm telling them. They accessed a dimension that was closed to the rest of them, but it wasn't really closed. It was always available. They just didn't know how to work for it because everything was easy for Adam and Eve. It was simple for them. So God did everything for them before. Now, guess what? It's like the Holy Spirit. When you look in Proverbs, it says she. They said wisdom and talks about her and she. And God has that like feminine type of side of him because the Holy Spirit is like that. There's a gentleness that begins to come. And so he says, draw near to me and I will draw near to you. They never had to draw near before. He just came. It was easy before. I don't know if I'm, I should be in my prophetic class or something. Maybe I'm helping the wrong people today. But I'm trying to take you somewhere so you can understand what happened here. 
literally, he says, he says, if you draw near to me, I will draw near to you. See, Adam and Eve could have started drawing back near to him, and, but they were so, it would seem like a laziness because they didn't know how to because they never worked for anything. So they never worked it back. It's like a relationship. The man cheats or does something, and the wife is like, I'm leaving you. Now, she doesn't really want to leave. Men, hello, man. God, you know, oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> she doesn't really want to leave. She really loves you with all her heart. Her heart is broken. So she says, get out. I don't want to see you. Go. No, quick, hang up. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you or whatever she does. You know, women all over, you know, sometimes. <laughs> so he says, to his, there's a guy that says, my wife put me out because I made a mistake. And you know, I'm just gonna go into this cave and leave it alone and I'm just gonna let the divorce happen and I'm just gonna do this. That's one man. There's another man that says, I'm sleeping on this porch. I'm not gonna get up. I'm going to stay here. You're going to have to walk over me every morning. I will stay here because you're my family and I made a mistake. But I love you and I will do whatever I need to do. I will work back. I will draw near. I'll bring flowers. I will do whatever I need to do to be in your presence. If I got to stand outside the door, I'm going to come and be in your presence because I love you and I need you. I don't want that. I don't care about that. I care about you. I'm willing to sacrifice sacrifice anything now what do I need to do to get access back to you but they didn't do it you know why because everything was too easy now God says we will work together if we're going to walk together how can two walk together unless they agree we're going to do this together is I'm not going to do everything for you anymore. You have to really desire me. That's why desire moves the heart of God. Desire will move the heart of God. Passion will move the heart of God. A real acceptable offering will move the heart of God. You have to find out what his love language is to have access to the things that he will give you. He wants to give it to you. He has it stored up for you. He has it waiting for you. But will you willing, do you love him that much where you desire him, where you will pursue him, where you will come after him? We are co-laborers now. I'm not going to do all the labor, he said. Oh, they didn't hear me. Before he did all the labor, he worked, he built, he did, he that, he provided. She did nothing. We didn't do anything. Adam and Eve did nothing. Now he's saying, we're going to work together if we're going to do this. Papa, I don't know if they want to work. <laughs> I'm pulling for your grace. I, re I received the power. I, <laughs> I don't know if they want to work. They want it to be so easy again. But are you willing to begin to pursue him? Are you willing to draw near to him? Because he promised you, if you really draw near to me, I will draw near to you. He told Daniel, he said, to say that you set your mind on doing this, I answered you. So all he had to do is set his mind on pursuing the thing of God, and God sent the answer. So he's looking for something in you, but are you willing to give it? So Enoch is listening to the stories. He's imagining. It's in his mind. So every day he is bothering his grandfather. Grandfather, tell me again. His grandfather's like, why do you keep asking me? Grandfather, what was it like? Grandfather, what did those cherubs look like? Grandfather, his grandfather, so his grandfather is old, so he's like, okay, this kid really is into, let me just tell him. But he's not telling him. He is saying, okay, let me break this down for you. So when I was 15 years old, I started, um, you had to choose an elective at my high school. And, katabastele petikia, rotoste vesheteka. Is there an Andrea here? Oh, there. Eh. Bro. Andrea. I'm going to. I, 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 you want to be the first person I prophesied to. And then I heard, I heard a kata, one kata bas. He said, come. 
I heard another name, but I won't go. You, this one, one, one. This Andrea and that's Andrea. Another and Andre, come. Andrea, you both come there. Pro. Prophesy. I'm trying to. Pro. Pro. Can somebody shout prophesy? Thank you, Lord. Pro. I don't know if anyone ha- of you guys, do you guys anyone have anything to do with hair? Either one of you? You. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay. Somebody shall prophesy. Prophesy. I will bless you too. Don't worry. Amen. So what do you do here? You're- I came to visit from New York with my sister. Okay. But hair. Do you- oh, hair. Yeah. I'm a cosmetologist. See, cosmetologist. I had... I had a dream this morning, and I said to my husband, I said, I'm sitting here, and I see my, my hairstylist's name is Andrea. Hey! And she was doing, she, but she had a situation I needed to fix for her, and I'm like, Andrea, what are you doing? And I said, Papa, I said, I'm supposed to pray for Andrea. She's, at the, at, she's there today, wow. Andrea. And I said, and she is a hairstylist, a cosmetologist. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and so I saw the Lord. This is what I saw. I saw you connecting, but I also saw like you, you connecting, but you have not taken the full jump all the way in. Amen. And you know this, but this has been a pattern throughout the light, your life because of some things with your, your mom and past. It's been some instability that's been there in your life. Amen. Even some, like, it's, I don't know, it looked like some abandonment things have happened and misplacement. Amen. Tell me. Amen. Confirm. I don't know what amen is. Tell me more. Prophesy. Um, my mom, she was told not to send me to Virginia. I yes. was living in New York. Yes. And I went to New York, yes. I mean, Virginia, to live with my sister that's here. And I just lost contact with my mom for hey. many years. Let me tell you something. Hey. Let me show you how God works. My hairstylist has lost contact with her mother, too. Her mother sent her. My hairstylist, same situation. Hey! The Lord began to show me the sister's disconnect with the family, and there was a misplacement. This has caused instability in your relationships. You've been moving forward. You even make money, but you're not able to keep money. You pay the bills. You pay the situations. But literally, there's nothing that she's keeping. You're even sowing your seeds, and you haven't seen a harvest. Prophesy! Hey! Is this true or very true? It's very true. And, very true. And you're wondering what is Ooh, going on. Absolutely. That's why I asked God when I got here, what's going on? <laughs> hey! You ask God, what is going on? Yes. Hey! What is going so she, on? Those are the exact words. Amen. And so literally she said, what is going on? And I said, what is going on? The Lord wants to fix your situation. Amen. The instability is not from you. It's not yours. Amen. The instability is coming from your mother. And that side is in the family. I have to disconnect you. And the Lord said, join yourself and connect yourself here. I've been planning to do so. You're hey. your what? I've been planning to do something. She's so. been planning to do something. Today is the day, grandfather. You are deep. My uncle, today is the day. Submarine deep. Prophesy. The only innocent apostle today Scuba is the day. Die. In the line. In the line. Outside. I said, I'm done with New York. I'm out of there. Hey! <laughs> Somebody shall pro- prophesy. prophesy. Somebody shall prophesy. prophesy. The Lord is not only going to make this trip prosperous for you, you're finally going to be able to be established. I receive. You will not be moving from here to there. I receive. You're here for a little while, then something happens and you're frazzled moving somewhere else. I was and then you were okay, and it seemed like everything is going, and then everything is messy over here. You have to up and move quickly in different things. Prophesy. This pattern ends today. In Jesus' name. We break the cycle in today. In Jesus' name. I was homeless for 10 years. You were, did I say it again? You were what? I, w- I was homeless off and on for 10 years straight. Instability and living. Me and my five children. You and her five children. Let me tell you. Bro. My father told, my grandfather told me something. He said, everything I did for himself, everything I did for me, I did for us. You don't understand. He sent me. A sweatsuit. He said, I got a deep gift for you. I'm like, oh, great. What's he going to give me? <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to send it. <laughs> and he had the prophet just bring it to LA. And I was like, what does he have for me? I go in and I was like, oh, this is cool. Wait, 
It's an orange sweatsuit. And Adidas, this has to have some meaning. Somebody say, this has to have some meaning. He doesn't do anything without having meaning to it. So he goes, and, and I call him. I said, well, okay, it's orange. The number of revival, color revival is this. I call him. I said, tell me the significance of the gift you gave me. But you know he gives gifts by the hundreds every day, so he doesn't remember which gift he gave. <laughs> I have to tell him. He said, oh, I know. He said, Adidas, everything I did for me, I did for us. All of my victories are your victories. All the seeds I sowed are the seeds I sowed for you. Everything hey. I overcame, I overcame so you could overcome. Yeah. Said, All that I have is yours. He said, it belongs to you. Oh, they didn't receive, I don't think they received it. I, 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 I will run around this place myself. I will run around this whole church because I got up. The, this is this one is wives. She sold into my daughter. She understand. Let me tell you, I understood what that meant at that moment is that he gave access for me to use what he already did. Today. 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 You have access by you connecting yourself. By the seed that you will sow here today. Amen. You have access to all the victories, all the financial wealth, all the spiritual knowledge, all the covering. Thank you will no longer be an orphan. Yeah. You will never be homeless again. Amen. Your children will have. Yeah. And when she said five children, yeah. when, she, when she said five children, how many kids do you think I have birthed? I don't know. Somebody tell her. Five. I have birthed five children hey so as today i'm ordained to make sure that my children will never be without your children will never be without that as my children have been free and gone to college and are successful and doing great things your children will be successful i'm canceling even autism in the family and mental things and, and things following it you want to say listen Her listen son you, has you, can, you cancel what autism one of my sons have autism Glory! Somebody shall prophesy. Prophesy. God is already doing it for you because it's already done. I when I touch you, your life will never be the same. I, I said your life will never be the same. I Not only will your star rise, you shall prosper. You will do mighty things. Your hands shall gain wealth. You shall be connected. You will begin to have good, healthy relationships. You will marry. You can trust your heart with the heart of God because he will take care of you and provide for you. In the name of Jesus. Now bring her back. Bring her back. Bring her back. Bring it here. Ah, okay. Looser. 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 Ah, ah, ah. There, there it is. I said, ah, ah. Ah, ah. No. Every trace. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. no, 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 ah, uh, ah, uh, out, out. I said, stand up, stand up, stand up in the name of Jesus. I said, stand up, stand up. You don't even need to help her. That spirit knows. Come, step forward, step forward. It, you have ruined much, but you shall release everything today. You have been found. You no longer have a right to her life. I disconnect you in the name of Jesus. She does not belong to you. Yeah. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Professor. One more time. One more time. I got one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Oh, this power. What did you do to me? What did you do to me? She's all drunk. One more. The last one. I see you hiding down there. I said, you will not, ah, uh ah, -uh, don't, you'll stand here. You will not play games. I disconnect you and pull you out. You no longer have right to, you will not move, you will stand here. Put your hands up in the name of Jesus. You will not steal her finances any further. You will not attack her children. I said, give back to her everything you stole. Oh, this Jesus! Every trace, go! Go! There it is. Go! 
and never return. Everything, looser, there it is. Out, all of it, out, out. There it is, there it is. Every trace, in the mighty name of Jesus. There it is. On three, never return, in the name of Jesus. There it is, there it is. She is free. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory. Glory. Oh, Jesus. Prophesy another one. <laughs> Prophesy. Are you ready for prophecy? Prophesy. Prophesy. <laughs> <laughs> Pro Pro <laughs> Glory. Thank you, Jesus. The prophetic the machine. I saw the Lord releasing a blessing from you, for you. From, yes. It's literally, but when I'm here, all of a sudden, Mama, Mama Lily came to mind. Yeah. And, I, and I saw a blessing. Where's Mama Lily? She's, oh, yes, okay. I got it. People don't know. I got it. I got, I got it. I know. I did I'm saying, nice. like, like, where are I you? I did send it for good treatment. I got it. Got it. Uh. No, the question is, this is what's the question. Where is Mama Lily from? Ethiopia. She's from Ethiopia. Is there a, conne and there's a connection with Ethiopia with you? I live in, I'm from Kenya. You're from it's Kenya? Neighboring country. It's near Ethiopia. Yes. Because and I saw a plane there, yes. and I was like, what am I looking at? Mm -hmm. So Ethiopia and Kenya, I don't know the regions. They're neighbors. They're neighboring countries, so yes. that's, okay, God hey. got this. Yes. Amen. Yes. Okay, so I saw from wherever this place is, Prophesy. I saw a blessing Prophesy. being released. Prophesy. And it, I would, it looks like this is it actually like, I don't know in your family if there's like tribal inheritance, like, like um, uh, royalty in the family. Mm, prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. Is this true or very true? Da, 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 da. You know. My, my, my father's side. Yes, so my it's in the family side. line. Yes. Because I hey. saw a bloodline, like, it's something that has been waiting. Mm. And God said that this blessing from the bloodline of this royalty in the family is coming to you. Prophesy! Yes. Prophesy! Prophesy! It's from my father's side. Prophesy. It's from my father's Prophesy. side. So in that, the Lord was waiting to actually speak it in the earth. Remember, we have to speak it in the earth. Mm -hmm. What you're going to do today mm -hmm. to release it, I said that there was a, what are the little, uh, the, the, the immigration police, the border patrol, yeah. the demonic realm. They've been holding something that the angels want to bring you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Break it, mm -hmm. prophesy, prophesy. prophesy. If you want to get past the border patrol faster, if something is being held up in that dimension for you, you have to be like Cornelius. It said Cornelius gave much alms, much offerings and prayers. But you've already been praying and God's been dealing with you about one particular sacrificial seed. Yes, yes, it's true, hey. it's true. In my car, in my car, hey. it's true, it's true, it's true. It's true. Deep. Yes, it's true. This is a sacrifice to you. Yes, 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 it was. Yes. This I don't have a seed car right now. Yes. that you sowed. Yes. She's, this seed yes. is why the release is coming today Prophesy. for what was held up for you. Prophesy. 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 Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord has released these things to you. Not only will you do mighty things, mm. I see God favoring you so mm. great. Prophesy. I don't know why. Do you, I see something with the mic, microphone. Do you ever do anything with the mic? I sing. Oh, you're singing. Okay, I, I see you. Prophesy. I see some elevation in these areas. Mm. I see taking Prophesy. note of you. Pala, I see God pa, 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 raising pa, pa, pa. you up. Hey. The star shall arise for you. Prophesy. God said that your family is released the blessing that was laid dormant. Like Enoch, they did not access it even generations back. Wow. You shall receive the inheritance, and God's favor has found you. Amen. Amen. Yeah! It is done. Hallelujah. Glory. <laughs> oh, Prophesy another one. No. <laughs> Prophesy. Did they hear me though? 
about the, explain to them about how they can get access for the things that are held up. Daniel had to pray 21 days, but when things are held up, he was fasting and prayer. But if you put a seed on it, you know how they stop you from state to state or place to place, and you give access to get your papers to go forth. When you sow a seed of significance, it gives and brings the access very quickly. Yeah. They are not hearing you. They don't understand. I think EJ will go deep on that. Yes. Oh, no, no, I not, not now. Now you should prophesy. <laughs> you will teach and prophesy. Amen, amen, amen. I saw, I, I'm saw, here. Go. I saw fire from you. Yes. Going to Mimi. No, no, not this one. The one for the... Uh, but you can receive. Come. <laughs> you prophesy both of them. Wow. Wow. So, pro. Pro. Professor. You want the woman of God to prophesy? <laughs> it's a marathon. I'm supposed to pass the mic. <laughs> pro. pro. Amen. Pro Too bad it was so. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I'll prophesy you. Let him prophesy this. Lepata. I saw you where God was releasing you yes. to actually do this move in a shift. Amen. And I saw you in the back and I said, God has blessed the works of your hands. Yes. Yes. I'm a cosmetologist. <laughs> you're, you're a what? A licensed cosmetologist. Hey. I, they don't want prophecy. Prophesy. Prophesy. They don't want prophecy. Prophesy. And I saw the letter S. My middle name, Sylvia. That's your middle name. That's your middle name. Ah, uh, prophesy. I kept hearing the scripture, and I see Abraham. I'm in the I'm in the book of Genesis, and I'm in the twelfth chapter in the first verse, and it says, uh, "Leave your father yes. and mother's house. Yes, yes, yes. Leave your family. Leave your things. Leave this and come." And I've been hearing this for two months, like every. Can they give more mic on this one so you can hear her? Prophesy. Say again. Prophesy. There. I've been hearing that same verse every week. Every week. For two months. For two months. Two months. The time is now and God is unlocking Amen. you. Amen. I want to tell you something. There's a business grace on her. Amen. And she needs the joint deep. connected to this I house. I think about a few months ago I prophesied that. Oh, amen. Yes. yes. Amen. You it's know, deep. she has... I see things with labels, even even uh, products. I don't know products uh, like yes. hair uh, pr products that look you at that, look at that. See, I, yes. I was thinking about somebody a pro. Like making like hair oil. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's, I just saw hair stuff, hair products. <laughs> She's selling the hair oils. Yes. Yes. Have you created your label yet? No. I saw the label. Yeah. It has your name and everything. I saw the yeah. website. Prophesy. 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 The website literally is there. I saw orders and I see you on YouTube and I see them catching fire and your YouTube catching Amen. fire. I see you showing people. Amen. And, and your business is online. Oh, it's online already? It's already? Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Go deeper with it. Hey. Amen. I see you taking you a deep. trip. There, there's a Prophetic deep. <laughs> Pro. There's a conference or something Prophesy. that you will look at and you will attend. This will help you to know how to, I saw her like the grace of other people. She's just catching grace from people who have done it really good. You've been watching all these different people and you're watching their channels. You're seeing what they're yes. doing. I see you seeing those things. God said there's a grace jumping from one of those ladies that stood it to you. Amen. I receive. I receive. It's like, I don't know if you already did it or you thought about it. There's one you thought about. Let me inbox her. Let me inbox her. Yes. Let me inbox her. And you start asking questions to, to the lady. Yes. Ay, 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 ay. You're in the DM now. Gay. Prophesy. Somebody shall prophesy. 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 The favor that's on her is actually coming to you. This is going to sound strange, but I don't know if you already ordered some things and connected yourself. You're going to stand out. And I saw the, the grace already coming, whether she wants to give it to you or not. Because I have spoken today, it is already yours. You know, King David, he had anointing, but anointing was not just enough. 
you had to have influence. Amen. I have to tell you this for a reason. And, and just if you catch this, you will grow far. When it was time for King of Samuel to be king, Saul, uh, Saul to be king, Samuel was the only king they really had, the judge. They had judges. They didn't have kings. Yeah. So it had to be that, Sa that Sa Samuel had to anoint Saul because there was no other king. So he was transferring when he laid hands on him. He was giving him all the influence and status. Yeah. This man was seven feet tall, but he was hiding among the luggage. Hey. He was hiding. He didn't have this boldness and this thing. But Samuel had it, so he gives it to, to, to Saul. But when it comes time for David, Saul can go anoint David, but he can't give him influence of a king because he's never been a king. So David has to go work for and has to go serve and has to get connected and has to come and serve and he has to come and sow and he has to come and play and he has to get the influence from the king hey. because the king has to give it to him. He got, so he gives him. So now they start singing. Saul has done thousand and ten thousand, but they didn't sing that until he got it legally. So he got it, but you remember the position is supposed to go to someone else. And I'm going somewhere with this for you, but it's helping all of you if you're catching this. This is deep revelation. This next move he makes, he does it and he doesn't steal it. He doesn't have to rob it for it. He had a friendship covenant with Jonathan. Jonathan was next in line. But because Jonathan understood the things of the spirit, he takes off his coat and he puts it on him. He gives it to him. He takes his sword. And when you give the sword and he gives him his bow and his things, he's saying, I'm giving you these armies. So he's saying with the armies and the victories, he got it legally because Jonathan gave it to him. It said after he gave him these things, he takes off his belt and he gives him his belt. As soon as it goes out of his presence, he wins every single war because he gained access from Jonathan Prophesy. to win wars. Prophesy. His father didn't know how to win wars like that. Otherwise, his father would have fought Goliath. But even though he fought Goliath, it wasn't enough. You needed access. You need somebody else's grace. You need what they carry. And they're going to give it to you. This woman is going to give it to you. Amen. I Amen. It is done. You will not only come back and sow a $100,000 seed to this man. Yes. I see you at the house. I see you with doing little, you're like, I don't know this business management thing. How do I do this business management thing? I don't know this. Yes. You're going to have grace to learn from the second fourth. I, I have done businesses since I was 12 years old. I have done businesses since I was 12 years old. So that which I have, I'm going to give to you today. You will have employees and people will work for you. I see you with a home, your own home. Your family will be shocked because of you. Now, I have to give you a quick warning. I saw people wanting to come live with you and wanting to take you to, to take care of them. God said you have a huge heart. Be very careful about the way, because I see the family even trying to keep you where you live. They don't yes. want you to come here. They've been talking to you. They don't want her to move. Yes. They want the family to stay yes. in there. So God said, you have to come out from among them. And he said, you cannot just do everything and let them come stay with you. Because I saw them all coming to try to congregate, and she had no room for herself trying to help everybody else. So they tried to bring their situation to your situation, and they wanted to go down. It is okay to say no. I'm releasing the authority and the power to govern what God and to protect what Amen. God has given you in the name of Jesus. God said, I'm giving you boldness. I hear from Joshua, be bold and very courageous. Boldness has been hard for you to speak up to your family, to say no. But from today forward, you will stand on your own two feet and you will move as God has said. And he is giving you the boldness. He's giving you the courage. He's giving you the authority. He's giving you the grace. And it is done. In Jesus' name. Somebody Amen. shall prophesy. 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 By Beta, come. I just saw fire from you going to her. 
So there is a word you're going to speak. Prophesy. 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 Stand up, woman of God. Your knees are for Jesus. I love you so much. Prophesy. Such a humility. She's so sweet. I saw what, you know what? I saw a wearing on you. Prophesy. A tiredness on you. Prophesy. A heaviness God is showing me. Very true. Very true. And this is because you've been carrying the weight of your family, Prophesy. of marriage. Very true. You've been fighting. Very and I saw things from somewhere else fighting you. Very true. So I saw generational family things that were fighting her. An altar that has been fighting you. Very true. I don't know if you ever care for people like, uh, like looks like you're doing, um, I don't know if it's like, it almost looks like home care. Like you're caring for somebody you've ever like caring, taking care of. Mm. Anybody, it, now, now in your family, anybody in your family that's like, like sick or have a yeah, dis disorder. I see a child, it's like a child, uh, that one of your children or something that you had to care for. My daughter had an accident recently, four, four months back. She's healing. Yes, so hey. you're taking care of her. Prophesy. There it is. <laughs> Prophesy. D and D. Chai. Hey, Chai. This has brought even more because before this thing with her, you were already caring for other things, and I see the enemy trying to attack even in the area. I don't know if you're praying for someone to be saved, praying for someone to come to the Lord, but it's been a, been causing strife around you, and I see the love and kindness, but it's been wearing on you. It's been weary in yes. area of relationship yes. and my marriage. Daughter, my husband, my father, all my family, they're um, idol worshippers. Yes. They, they don't know Jesus. So yes. Yeah. Hey, today the Lord is sending an angel to help you. Amen. I receive. I receive. I even saw the stress trying to come on you. We have to cancel because I saw, um, I don't know. It looks like uh, this is kind of seems interesting, but like, like your iron was low. You felt like you were tired. Yeah, all the time. And I saw some iron being low. And I heard the Lord even saying even your water intake has been very low. Yes. 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 And this, this, this sounds interesting, but um, if you ever checked your levels, but like your B12 levels are low. I don't know if you know, like B12 hell, is in the body. There's B6, B3, B9. The I Bs are low. Know, yeah. But I'm telling you because I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. Prophesy. But some of the areas you'll know, even like it seemed like some of your hair was coming out more than normal. Very true. Very true. Yes, these hey. are the effects of this. I need to break this off of you. Prophesy. And I saw even your hair being in grow back. I saw some strength coming to you. Amen. I saw even Amen. your color. I don't know if you know. Your color was changing just a little bit. You're going to see flush to you again. I Amen. 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 The Lord is, loves you so much. Amen. I and I'm releasing Thank this you, grace Jesus. to you today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Let me just turn right here. Kada bastilefante. Roto kostileje. Kostilefante he ketaba. Rotoko fire. Lepata, I tear down every altar. I break it in the name of Jesus. There. It's done. Hey! Release. Receive. 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 It's going. It's going. Fire! I release the fire! There. It is done. It is done. Amen. It is done. Thank you, Jesus. The, the prophet, the prophet is to catch a flight. Yes. Not Let, feelings. Please. So, you won't preach. You just jump in and jump in. Continue with prophecy. Prophesy. And uh, prophet, yes, you. you can keep flowing as well. Let's go. Go ahead, uncle. Somebody Are you ready for somebody the Somebody give it up for my uncle. Prophesy. Are you ready for the ego? Kill it and Are you go. ready for the ego? Prophesy. Ego. I just want to, on my knees, honor my father and um, say, Papa, thank you for all that you've done. Um, if I can say this, Psalm 84 says that it is better to be a doorkeeper in the courts of God. For better is one day there than a thousand elsewhere. And the word doorkeeper means a gatekeeper, meaning one that gives permission to those that will go in and out of the realms of God. Yeah. And Papa, you've been a doorkeeper for us. 
just like Abraham stood at the door of the tent. And he began to see three men. And without being told, he knew whom they were. And he introduced those men to his family. Papa has introduced the angelic. He has introduced supernatural realms. Our lives have never been the same because of you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Florida will not be the same because of this man. Amen. Florida is on fire. Pro. Prophesy. 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 Papa, in, in the realms of the spirit, this is what I saw. Prophesy. Um, I saw that God wanted to do something with you. Yes, give somebody. Odogu. Prophesy. 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 In my vision, the Lord began to speak to me. I don't know where your mother is. Uh, she's in Baltimore. She's in Baltimore. Yeah. But God needs to touch her, actually. Because in her physical body, I saw an x-ray, and I saw her body open up. And all of a sudden, I saw the hand of the Lord go into her body, and it began to deal with two things. And I saw, I don't know if you've heard of vertigo, where people yes. get dizzy and they My fall. My aunt has vertigo. Really? Hey. Yes. Prophesy. 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 Go deep. And I'm talking about your mother, not your aunt. Yes. I understand it's a family thing, but your mother. I saw the Lord going into her body because the way I saw it happened is like I saw on different parts of her body. Mm -hmm. I saw her having, uh, uh, I don't know if there was a, something with a collision or accident or whatever. But ever since then, all of a sudden, the enemy has been re looking for Thank room you. to also reintroduce this thing into her life. Because when she was 16, she was dealing with vertig vertigo as a younger adult Prophesy. jesus he left and he came back he left and now it's looking for a way to come back again Prophesy. jesus this is why even not only your auntie but even men in the family also deal with vertigo Prophesy. jesus is this true it's true Prophesy. because stop in my vision this is what i saw i don't know who is by the name p p p Patricia. Patricia, Patricia, that's my aunt. Prophesy. I'm seeing Patricia dealing with the same thing. Yes, it's true. But God, when he starts to heal your mother, he will touch your auntie. Okay. I'm just telling you. Prophesy. I'm telling you your auntie's name so you know that one is covered. Don't worry, I know. Amen. <laughs> if I'm highlighting things, I'm telling you the important things. Amen. Don't worry. Prophesy. Papa, your grace is deep. Amen. <laughs> Prophesy. Yeah. Prophesy. Spiritually, this is what I saw. Stand here. It's similar names, but it's a little bit different. I want you to introduce yourself to her. Hi, I'm John. Hi, John. I'm Jasmine. Jasmine. Johnson. John. John. Hey! hey. Hey, I'm John. Johnson. Amen. I saw Odogu. Prophesy. The Odogu of prophecy. Hey. This is your grace, Papa. This is your grace. This is what I saw. I saw something interesting because when I saw him introduce himself to you, mm -hmm. now the spirit of the Lord opened my eyes. Prophesy. And when my eyes got opened deeper, nah. Prophesy! 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 Go deeper! God told me the same thing that was happening with your auntie and your mother. Mm -hmm. I saw the same thing trying to happen in this guy's family as well. Mm -hmm. Vertigo. People Prophesy. would get dizzy, especially as they're getting older. Prophesy. They would just get dizzy, whatever, whatever, whatever. My mother, my brother. Your mother, hey. your brother. Yes. Amen! God told me that as a result of this grace yes. in this place, yes. I want you to understand something. Not every church you go to has the power Yes. To break what you have carried. Yes. Amen. Ah. So you need to understand. Let me tell you something. The Bible says in Revelation, write to the angel of the church in. Yes. Meaning some angels don't have churches. Yes. 
Um, some churches don't have angels. Wow. Oh. And watch this. It's telling a man named John to write to the angels, meaning some angels in certain churches don't even know what is happening in those churches or in the heavenlies. Wow. So when you come to a place where you meet the... Ah! 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 ah. ah. Go deeper! Hey. Go deeper! I want, I'm saying this so you can understand where this thing was broken. Under what grace? It is the grace of our Father. Amen. Don't just say thank you, Jesus. Thank Papa as well. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> you know, some people go to the emergency room. The doctor delivers you. You give birth. You say thank you, Jesus. The doctor was there. <laughs> Lift your hands to heaven. Right now, hey! as a reason of the unction on this house, yes. I break every spirit coming from your father's side, your mother's house, that it would not touch you and there will be a healing that is released over your families right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Woo. Every extra things uh, tied with your life that are not supposed to be there. Uh, uh, ah, the anointing is here now. Uh, hey! Odogu. Odogu. Hey! Raka Shatalamande. Odogu. Somebody shout hallelujah. More anointing. Somebody say, God release the fire hey. over me. God release the fire over me. Oh. I'm scared. I know, me too. Hey. Somebody clap Give this Jesus. one power. Lift your hands. Are you ready? Hey, hey, hey. Power. He wants it. Look at me. Look at me. Somebody shall power. 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 Give the lady the door power. The one in the brown jacket. Ah, 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 ah. Odogu. Give power. Hey. 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 Odogu. Hey. hey. Power, 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 power. Hey, mighty name of Jesus. Liko umbra ala kankar hande kidabra ange kizolo honta la ba hande ridi bianda paka shata la mande. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Use him like never before. Odogu. Amen. Glory! Somebody Hallelujah! Stop. Fire! Fire! Professor. Yeah. Let me prophesy you come. Yeah, you. 
Somebody shall uh, prophesy. Prophesy. Uh, this deep. Prophesy, prophesy. Uh, yes, prophesy. Bro. Kill that never land. Yeah. I wish you understood what you have in Maryland. <laughs> yeah. Me, prophesy. if Papa is in another country, I take flight 16 hours just to go sit down and come back home. But you have every Sunday. Me, I'm jealous of you. <laughs> In the realms of the spirit. Let me see. Uh, Papa, I'm afraid. I'm scared. Prophesy, prophesy. 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 In the realms of the spirit. I, I'm seeing you wearing this ring. Yes. But God told me that you need to take your husband more seriously. Okay. Prophesy. Can prophesy. I it prophesy. Prophesy. I don't want to go too much. Yes. Because on you, I'm seeing on your, I know it's say Usher, but I'm seeing J, 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 J. What, what is it? Jordan, Jason. Jordan, Jason. Hey! hey. Prophesy. Hey. I just want to, that one yes. is easy. I just want to show you that I know what I'm telling you. That Jesus is speaking and you need to take him seriously. Yes. I saw a conversation that your husband sat down in your room and he had the conversation with you. And when he had the conversation with you, you didn't realize that God was trying to establish you and your family on earth. Prophesy. So the mistake you made is that you did what popular culture would suggest. Yeah. And popular culture would suggest that if things are not a certain way, you don't do certain things. Professor. Can I tell you something? Uh, there is never a good time to get married or to have children. Yeah. This Professor. is true. Professor. Look at that. Professor. Huh? Professor. Tell us. What is it? What is it? Look at that. Look at that. This In my vision. Look at this man now. <laughs> Baba. Hey. Professor. Professor. He's from, from Ghana. From He's from Have you ever been to Ghana? I'm from Ghana. You're from Ghana. Yes, sir. Professor. Odogu. Is he? Odogi of prophecy. Let me just prove to you mm. how deep mm. Baba's grace is. I saw your father many years ago, mm. many years ago, mm. working as a mechanical <laughs> engineer kind of thing, mm. many years ago, electrical, mechanical, but the place I saw him going to work was around the, do you know Volta? Yeah. Volta. Yes. Volta, yes, Volta, Volta. Volta. Yes. Mm. yes, yes, yes. Hey! <laughs> I'm seeing him working there. Also, the same thing your father wanted to expand himself. Mm, yes. He wanted to also have children, many children. Yes. Okay. Yes, but this is <laughs> it, it was his main desire to have many children. Yeah, he has, okay. he has many children. <laughs> he has a lot of children. Huh? I know. He has many children. Many children. Don't tell hey. me. Let me tell you. <laughs> Prophesy. But it took him a while before this thing started happening. But once it started, yeah. uh, Prophesy! Prophesy! <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Once it started, TNT says she has five. This one is like times two. Yes. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Professor. How many children? We only I think know. he has uh he has five right now, but he wants more. He's it's it's wait. And TNT yeah. says five. <laughs> TNT has five children. Mm. You your father has five, but he wants times two. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't catch it. <laughs> Let me explain this to you. You also want children, but not the way your father wanted children. Mm. You just want to start something. Yes, sir. But I'm seeing a conversation that is happening. And when the conversation happened, it was something you desired, but I saw her getting mad at you mm. in the conversation. Yes, like sir. I've told you before, we yeah. need to wait. Yeah. Because her thing is, let me finish school. Yes. Baba, I just... Yeah. Professor. 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 Yes, Professor. Baba. It's true. I just testified about this, Baba. On stage. She, she okay, literally well, just testified about this today. I was you right here. here. It's okay. Let me testify now. Come on, 
Can I pro? Pro. 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 Papa, it was very interesting because the Lord told me that you have to secure what you have. And can I tell you something? You need to listen to this man and you Godi. need to trust him. Godi. Tell her. Yes, the professor. Uh, and he also uh, needs to listen to her. And you also need to listen to her. Come, let me tell you. Pro. It's secret. <laughs> you understand? I didn't hear it. <laughs> it's deep. But he said we'll listen. <laughs> it's deep. So more than anything right now, I want you to listen to each other. Don't follow what the world mm. usually does. Yeah. The world and Jesus are two different things. Prophesy. Prophesy. Can I tell you something? In my vision, I saw the grace of my father actually hoping that you guys, praying that you guys really work out. But here is an issue, and please don't take this for granted. The Bible says that there's a light that darkness sees, and darkness no longer comprehends it. Mm. People don't understand this thing. If you stare at a bright light, what happens? You, can't see. you become dark. It becomes darkness to you. Yeah. You can be in a place where the light of God is so bright, ah. but it seems like darkness to you. Hey. So whenever things are said to you, you think it's not of God. It is a problem with you. You saw the bright light too early without allowing yourself adjust. Please, let this be not be your problem. Yes, sir. Where your inside where grace is, mm. grace will speak to you. Mm. You won't listen. Professor. Take the Lord Jesus seriously. Yes, Lift sir. your hands up. Do what you need to do. Yes, sir. God will make every... Look at me. God will make everything fall into place. Amen, if amen. you will take him seriously, the amen. children that you will have will be very great. Amen. amen. Imagine there's some women that want it, yet you can have it. Amen. And you're delaying. Professor. Don't delay anymore. <laughs> More grace. Yes. Lift your voice and clap to the Lord Jesus. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Prophesy. 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 Somebody shout prophesy. 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 Odogu. I'm seeing her in Nigeria. Odogu. I'm like, why am I seeing you in Nigeria? I have something to say, but you talk first. Ah. I'll tell you guys something special. I see. Maybe I pick another person that wants to listen versus talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> this one wants to talk. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, I was confused. <laughs> Can I tell you something interesting? Tell Let me, me tell you something interesting. I saw you, but I saw your spirit in Nigeria. When I saw your spirit in Nigeria, I saw your spirit being coming from a place of intercessors, okay, of pray, people Prophesy. that pray. The Prophesy. way it came to me is this. I don't know if you've ever heard of the church CAC, Christ Apostolic Church. Yes. I saw people in Christ Apo Apostolic Church praying, 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 intercess intercessory prayer. You came into this world as a result of intercession. Of prayer. Prophesy. Prophesy. When your mother carried you, Prophesy. it was a crazy thing because Prophesy. you were not supposed to be born. Prophesy. There were complications that happened during her pregnancy. In fact, do you understand what I'm telling you? Yes. <laughs> Prophesy. We just, Prophesy. My mom Prophesy. and I talked about it before I came to church. Here. Who talked huh? about it? My mom and I just talked about yeah. it. Yeah. Because of that, since you were born and you came into this world, the enemy has not been happy. 
So he's been trying to fight you in the same way he fought your mother. Mm. Can I explain it to you? Explain. Go deep. It will be a miracle if you have children. Wow. Jesus. I don't know how many children you have. I don't have any. You don't have I'm any children. Married. You're not even married. All right. Yes, sir. Hey! Yes, sir. The enemy has been fighting you in the exact same place that he fought your mother. Wow. Exact. God told me to tell you today that we will break this thing today. Amen. Amen. Ah. Amen. Amen. As a result of the grace that is here, you will come back with testimonies. Amen. But one thing I want to quickly correct. I'm scared. Prophesy. Prophesy. Do it. Don't ever speak against a man of God. Ever. Mm. Don't ever do it. There will be a temptation to. Don't do it. What God is delivering you from, mm. the enemy will look for a way to come back. The way you came was a result of a man of Prophesy. God. Mm. Prophesy. Prophesy. Honor God in that. Prophesy. Lift your hands to Jesus. <laughs> May she never be the same. I break and I curse everything that has been set up against you. Amen. I cause your spirit to attract what is for you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Clap for Jesus. Professor. Deep, deep, deep. Professor. Give me oil. Florida will never be the same again. God is sending lightning to Florida. God is sending his fire, his flame of fire to Florida. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No sickness shall stand in your way. Your ministry shall heal the sick. HIV and AIDS shall go. Cancer, diabetes will go. Tumor, lamb, whatever. The Lord says healing shall be your flaw. Prophecies shall be deep. The word of God shall be powerful. Leo Sopa Lele Mohon Saparadi Estas. It is done in Jesus' name. He needs to catch a flight. But uh, Apostle Innocent is going to continue. Your favorite Apostle. The Apostle of Solution. Uh -huh. And uh, let me pray for all the Florida guys. Amen. Uh, you, I'll give you a prophecy next time we meet. Follow the instruction. When we meet again, ah, you shall thank me. Saka bahate. Sika bahate. From the crown of the head to the soles of the feet. Touch! Touch! Let this power be upon thee. Let the prophetic cover thee. And the plan of the enemy be destroyed. In Jesus' name. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Adogu, you are blessed. Apost. Before, uh, we, uh, before, they, before they leave, uh, I want to pray for, for him. Come. And just say something that is going to encourage him. If possible, Papa, if you can just lay your hands once more. 
because he, he desires a double portion. What he actually needs is a double portion. Because I'm seeing fire moving from him, going even to him. But on him, I'm seeing double. But on him, I'm seeing one. And on you, I'm seeing something like, I'm seeing a letter B in the realm of the spirit. That's your wife. Yes. Hey. I'm a, I'm a daughter too. And your daughter too. Yes. Professor. But I'm taken to Texas. Yes. And so I'm really hearing someone like, Bia, Bia. Brandy is my Brandy. wife. Brandy. Brandy is yes. your wife. Yes. And the Lord is saying, whatever that was happening between you, God is going to give you comfort. I receive. Because I receive. you have been so confused mm. on what has been happening, even the event of ha what happened. The Lord is saying, I'm going to give you comfort. Thank you, I'm Jesus. I'm going to give you strength in this Thank season. You. Thank you, Jesus. And Prophesy. count two months from now. Prophesy. Two months from now. Hey. There's going to be evidence that you're going to experience. Amen. I receive. In Jesus' name. I receive. When I looked at him now, can you help him, please? Stand, sir. Papa, I want you to lay hands on him. Because his prayer has been for Caleb. It's my nephew. Caleb. It's my nephew. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. Your prayer has been for Caleb. Yes. That the hand of God rests upon Caleb. Jesus. But after Caleb, I'm seeing someone like Christian. Yes. Hey! Caleb, your sons. My sons. Come. Ah. Amen. Your son's name is Caleb. Your son's name is Caleb. And your name hey. is Caleb. Amen. Caleb, Caleb, Caleb. Caleb. And your name is Christian. Christian, Caleb. Christian, Caleb, and Caleb. Prophesy. The apostle of solution. Prophesy. I change it now. You are Prophesy. the old ogu. <laughs> hey. The Lord is going to touch Caleb. Amen. And the hand of God will rest upon him. Amen. And no weapon formed against him shall process the spirit of God. Amen. I receive. Whatever that has been a desire and the prayer you have been making for him, there's going to be an answered prayer today in Jesus' mighty name. But look at you, your sons are going to carry a prophetic mantle. Oh, he's not listening. Yes, sir. They're going to carry a prophetic mantle. Prophesy. And there is something special that will begin to happen in the realm of the spirit. Because I'm seeing dreams and dreams and dreams coming to them. Prophesy. And God will speak to them audibly. Prophesy. And the prophetic will begin in your home, says the hey. spirit of God. The Lord said, worry not about your children. I have taken care of them. Hey. And my hand shall rest upon you today. Hey. Now and forevermore. Oh. In Jesus' mighty name. Prophesy. Prophesy. Raise your hands, everybody, quickly. The prophetic and the hand of God is already in this place. And something special is about to happen to somebody. I declare and I decree in the name of Jesus Christ. Professor. Whatever you have been believing God for, after today, there shall be a manifestation. I receive. I said there shall be a manifestation. I receive. 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 Receive it like a believer. I receive. Prophesy. Apostle. I hear a name like Kebao. Although you are covered and you are blessed. Everyone in the plane is safe because of you guys. I am name like Kebao. Kebao. Huh? Kebao. That's me. Come. Last name is Cabral. First name is The Lord's hand is upon you. Stand up, stand up. Prophet, this, prophesy this one. The hand of the Lord is upon you. I saw fire 
connecting you. And you are going to give her a word that will change your situation. Because in the realms of the spirit, I saw a snake coming into a dream. And I yes. saw an evil attack yes. in your dreams. Yes. Yes. It's like a black cobra snake. Yes. Yes. And when I saw this, the Lord says, break the evil spell that was released on her through witchcraft. And I saw another dream as well, where the snake was spitting on her. Yes. I saw you, Jesus. the saliva of the snake on her. What do you call this? Thighs. On your thighs. You got up in the morning. You started having an itching. And ah. itching. And you try to go to the hospital. They are yes. telling you something about chicken pox. Yes. They yes. gave you some cream to, to apply on yourself. <laughs> yes. The Lord yes. says it's not physical. Oh, it is spiritual. Professor. What the king cobra snake spilled on you. The Lord says, I'm removing the spell of witchcraft. Yes. <laughs> and I'm setting you free. I'm not in this house right now. Where are you? Can I prophesy? Prophesy. I'm no longer here. Where, Where are, you? are you? The spirit of the Lord took me somebody so where? 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 I went to Gator's back. Yes. Gator's back. Yes. Gator's back. Yes. That's my home. That's my home. I live in Gatorsburg. It's an attack coming to you. <sighs> and it has been a season, a long season. Yes. One thing after another, Professor. one thing after another. The Lord says there is a move and a change coming to you right now. And is freeing you from the powers of witchcraft. This snake shall not appear in a dream again. There are also people that have been dreaming snakes. I stand as a prophet of God. Jesus. I destroy demonic dreams. Evil attacks, Amen. witchcraft activities in your I dreams. Receive. I break it in the name of Jesus. For the Lord says, you shall anoint Helen. Helen. Helena. The Lord says, you shall anoint Helena in the prophetic house. You yes. shall anoint her and the prophetic shall fall upon her life. Thank you, mama. <laughs> She's already mama. Was that the sea fire connecting you? But you know what? You're so deep, Grandpapa. Uh -huh. mm. I was walking through the aisle, and she reached out and grabbed me yesterday. And I said, she said, can you pray for me? I said, God is telling me to, you have to come here tomorrow. And she said that some things were preventing her. And I said, I kept walking. I said, Skylar, cash up her. She said, I have to Uber here. I said, you make sure she gets here. <laughs> hey! Oh, Jesus! Ah, prophesy. Hey. It's deep. And what, what people don't know, no one didn't know this. You said her name. When I was born, my mom named me Taryn Nicole Tarver. My father was an NFL football player, so he wasn't there. He calls the hospital, and he gives me another name. And the middle name is... Jameen Helene uh, Tarver. Jesus. Nobody ever know. I never spoke it. Jesus. Jesus. My name is connected. Hey. The originally. Paka shaka hate. Hey. Ninko ombra kastele munda la hate. Prophesy. 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 God is setting you free today. Amen. This connection, he said, is deep. God is setting you free today. He is unlocking a realm of the prophetic, which carries prosperity. Thank you. And your Amen. life will Amen. never be the same Amen. after today. Pro. Can I say something before? May I, may, do I have permission to say something to Mama? Mama. I cut off the head of the snake in the yeah. name of Jesus. Yes. 
I destroy you and I pull you out. Yeah. I send you to the pit. All of it, go, 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 loose, let her. I break it from this second forth. Everything you gave her, remove. Take it in the name of Jesus. Out, out, out. Every curse is dismantled right now. There it is. I feel the presence of God now coming down. There. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, it is done. Hey. Prophesy. Prophesy. Somebody saw prophesy. Prophesy. See, they cry, me, 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 me. Come. Have you ever. Okay, put it on camera, we'll prophesy. Remove the mic. Because God is about to touch you. God is about to touch. I don't know if Cameroon and Nigeria is close to each other. Because I saw her in Cameroon, but the demon attacking her is from Nigeria. Prophesy. Cameroon, I'm from Cameroon. You're from Cameroon. It's like in the realms of the spirit. Yours is going to be interesting. You saw me prophesying to this one. This one, the snake attacking you now is different from this one. Because I didn't see it in a house. There is another house that I am standing in. It's like there is a wardrobe. Those brown wooden wardrobe with like mirror on the center. Prophesy. There is a door on the left. There is a door on the right. Prophesy. You put hangers on this one on the left. Prophesy. And the drawers here on the right. It's, <laughs> it's deep. Hey. Can I Pro- 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 As Pro- I come out of this room, before I come out, there's like a bed. It's a queen size bed. Deep. With like a two in one blanket. It is like a rose on top of it. You're deep. Hi, Papa. You're hey, deep. Prophesy. Too much. Professor. And when I entered, I saw a lady that kind of looks like you. Oh, Lord, and she had a dream where the snake is coming, but this snake has got two heads. Lord. The snake have got two heads. And this one now, the snake, the other part of the snake is spitting and spitting and spitting. But the tail is choking the neck. Prophesy. And I saw letter C. Clementine is my name. Clementine. Prophesy. 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 But then I saw Sometimes some people, you would think they are twins. Oh my gosh. They are sisters that will look like each other, that you may think they are twins. Prophesy. Because the event I am seeing is like someone connected to you. Because I, this is not you now. This is, this is actually my junior sister. Um, I had a dream. A snake beat me in the dream. And in that dream, there were people sitting. It seems as if they were injecting things in people's body. Yeah. So two angels were standing by me. Then out of a sudden, when they pass by, when they inject you, you a screen appears and there are some writings. So out of a sudden, I saw my picture. I was telling the angels that I did not get an injection. Why am I seeing that? So my sister got sick for a week. She didn't even tell me. So... Um, I saw her in the dream. They said in the dream, I should deliver her. Yeah. But the prophet came to me and said, you have the powers, but somebody has that, that really controlling your powers. You uh. cannot deliver her. So she said, I'm going to deliver you to deliver your sister. Yeah. So in the dream, the prophet delivered me, to, and I delivered my sister in the dream. Uh. So the next day, I told my sister to come to me. I didn't even know she was sick. So she came to me. She insisted. I insisted. I said, you have to buy me lunch and come over. So she came over, and they said I should pray for her. I've never prayed for her like that before. Uh. 
So when I was praying, she was just shaking, and she wanted to throw up. I said, release it. They started to tell her to throw up. So when she did, she, I brought a bucket, and she threw up in the bucket. The next day, she did call me. The, the boyfriend called me and said, you need to take your sister to the emergency room. I said, why? They Look said, at that. Because something is coming out of her body right here. And I the same this, with I this one. This picture, the same thing. So then when I went back, I went to I put back. And I don't know this one, and I don't know this one. Jesus, prophesy, Papa. Prophesy, Papa. It's not by mighty. Prophesy. prophesy. Oh, by power. Hey. But by my spirit, Jesus. says the Lord. So distance is not a barrier. Jesus is going to touch her. Amen. She is going to come and give a testimony. Amen. In seven days, complete. Amen. Seven days, Amen. complete. Professor. Amen. Seven days, Amen. complete. Professor. Amen. Seven days, complete. Amen. Professor. For the anointing of God shall come upon thee, and God shall establish you in the prophetic apostle. Anoint this one. Amen. And prophesy. Amen. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree. Every demon break, come out of her. Now, loose. Wherever you are in every part of our body, I command you right now. Be gone. In Jesus' mighty name. Clap your hands for Jesus, everybody. Can I talk to somebody here? Prophesy. Prophesy. Can, can I talk to somebody here? Prophesy. Can I talk to somebody here? Prophesy. Apostle, there is a call of God upon you. I want you to prophesy and unlock it. There is a call of God upon you, but she's, I don't want to say she does not have a father. But she's lacking a certain unlocking and a covering in the realms of the spirit. I saw, I saw her, Papa, by your grace. Mm. I saw her having dreams. Ah. And these are very vivid dreams. Like you see things that are about to happen. From when I was four. When you were four. Prophesy. You see things that happens. Yes. And most of the times when you see them, you'll be like, I dreamt of this. Prophesy. But the thing with you is you don't know what to do with what you see. Prophesy. True. You don't know what to do with what you see. But Prophesy. today, because you came, your eyes are going to open. Amen. And the eyes of your spirit are going to be open today. Amen. There is going to be a grace and an ability of interpretation. Amen. Because Prophesy. I see her seeing in the spirit of things happening in the family. Huh? Yes, prophesy. Even upon everyone around you, your oh. mother, your sisters, hey. you will see things, a lot of things. Prophesy. But most of the times you will not even know what to do with the information you are receiving. Prophesy. But the Lord is ministering to me right now that I'm about to touch you and I'm about to impart you a gift of dreams and interpretation. Prophesy. The prophetic will rest upon you. Prophesy. And the hand of God will prophesy. do mighty things over your life. Prophesy. Listen. Watch this in the Holy Ghost. I don't know where you stay, but you need to serve in this house. Prophesy, amen. Prophesy. You need to serve in this house. Amen. So that your gift be activated. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. Prophesy. <laughs> Clap your hands for Jesus, everybody. Yeah. Amen. Glory to God. When, when, when you spoke about Cameroon, and you mentioned, Papa, that there is a connection with Nigeria, the angel of the Lord took me from where she is. I entered in a vision. And I found myself in a place called Okwara. Okwara. In Delta State. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to somebody here. And I'm seeing you. And I'm seeing the angel of the Lord pointing at you. You. Okwara. Delta State. Oh, you can clap better than that. For People, Jesus. Are not here. People are not here. Come on. Listen. Whatever I'm going to say right now, it's a confirmation that God is about to change your family today. Amen. I receive. There are a few things we are going to correct by the ability of God. Amen. Can I you receive. fix my mic, please? There are a few things we are going to correct by the ability of God. I receive. And by the hand of God, there's going to be a shift over your life in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. Do you know the place called Okwara? Okwara. Huh? Okwara. Do you know it? Yes. Do you know it? Yes, it's, it's my mother's like, village. It's your mother's village. Yes. 
Hey. It's, it's not like AKW. It's like AKP. Yes. Opara. 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 Yes. Hey. Professor. I am in Opara, like it's like rivers, river something. Opara, water side. Water side. Yes. And I am seeing myself at a place like Ubu. Ubu River. Yes. Ubu River. Yes. Hey. And as hey. I hey. Like, hey. It's true. Huh? It's true. Yes. Ubu. Yes. It's like Ubu River. Yes. As I arrive at Ubu River, I am seeing an initiation that was done in Ubu River. Oh my God. But the initiation. The initiation. It was done to affect something from your mother's side. My God. And I will explain it and I will tell you what happened so that you can understand and have solution. Mm. Go deeper. Side. Go deep. Go deep. Can go I go deep deeper? Process. Bro. Go deep. Go huh? deep. Yes. Because I'm seeing someone standing in Ubu River making incantations. My God. I'm seeing them wearing black and red. Mm. Making incantations, speaking and speaking and speaking. And as they are making incantations, they are speaking that in this family, in marriage wise, nothing good will stand. My God. No matter what. My God. Even if they stand, there will be this frustration. Oh, my that goodness. will be in marriages. My Why? Because there was a conflict that happened between your mother's family and another family that was at opposite the village. Oh. It's like there were fights all of the time. My goodness. But now, when I'm sick. Uh, yes. When I see in the room, can I prophesy? Prophesy. 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 I'm seeing your mother being born. And when I saw your mother being born, I'm seeing a star on your mother's head. But in the realm of the spirit, the attacks wanted to continue to happen. But I saw the light of God on your mother. And in the realm of the spirit, I was taken in a vision, Papa. And when I was taken in a vision, I'm seeing myself seeing a lady walking, going to school. But I'm hearing something like Onubu. Onubu. Olotu. Olotu. What's that? Yes, that's my mother's maiden name. That's your mother's maiden name. Olotu. And as I'm seeing Olotu in the realm of the spirit, I am hearing someone like Florence. Hey, that's my mom. That's your mother. Prophesy. As I'm seeing someone like Florence. Yes. Can I prophesy you people? Go deeper. Go deeper. As I'm seeing someone like Florence yes. in the realm of the spirit, yes. it's like there are incantations that have been released. Yes. But I don't know why for some reasons it skipped Florence. Mm. For some reasons it skipped Florence. Because I am seeing Florence growing, yes. but I'm seeing her siblings yes. growing too. Yes. I'm seeing these ones trying to get married. I'm seeing fights happening around the siblings of your mother. But I'm seeing your mother rising yes. and I'm seeing someone marrying your mother like Osume. That's my father. Osume. Osume. That's my maiden name, Charles the, Osume. Charles Osume. That's my wow. father. That's my maiden name. You, you people can prophesy. Pro, 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 pro. Somebody shout prophesy. prophesy. I don't hear you. Shout prophesy. You people, you people. Prophesy. Huh? Yes. Can I go deeper? Go you people are discouraged. Can I go deeper? Go deeper. Prophesy. Prophesy. Go deep. Lift your hands, everybody. Lift your hands. Say, Father. Father. Any word, any word spoken against my family, spoken against my family, wherever it was spoken, wherever it was spoken, I destroy that word. I destroy that word. I rebuke that word. I rebuke that word. Because your mother was supposed to die months into her marriage. Wow. But because of the prayers of your father, your mother was preserved. Mm. The reason why your mother is still married to your father is because of the anointing and the gift and the calling upon your father. There are many attacks that will come after your mother many times. Still today. Still, Still today. Yes. But I'm seeing your father being a shield. Yes. 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 Because Prophesy. Prophesy. in the realm of the spirit, what was done in Ubu River is yes. still following your mother. Ubu. Somebody Ubu. shout prophesy. Ubu. Prophesy. Until today. Until today she's, At, still struggling. she's still struggling. Yes. Listen, whatever struggle the enemy is trying to bring on your life. Yes. You people are not hearing me. They're not hearing. May that struggle be destroyed. Yes. Destroyed in the name of Jesus. Yes. Listen. I'm seeing your mother, I'm seeing your father ministry. Yes. And I saw struggle. Yes. A lot of it. Yes. Because he, yes. Ad he, he, he started addressing things that thing after your mother. Yes. And those things, they started going after him. 
to cripple a lot of things on his life. Yes. A lot of things. I'm seeing ministry-wise, he yes. was doing well, yes. but I saw it's like the enemy attacked yes. him, and it's like things just went south. He had a church in Dallas, one of the first African churches in Dallas, and they all left. They all left. They all left. Prophesy. Because I am seeing those incantations from hey. the river. Wow. Coming still until today. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it, Apostle. Yeah. Talk to Good somebody way. here. You're deep. Listen. There is, there, is, there is a grace that is going to rest upon your family. Amen. I receive. I receive. Because even when I looked at you now, in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing this one, Baba. I'm seeing this one, Baba. By the grace of God. Getting married. Hey. You are, you are going to get married. Listen. But I am seeing you. You were married before. I was. In the realm of the spirit, I saw the attack of the enemy coming after her marriage. But the attack came through the husband. Because the husband was very abusive to you. Hey! It's true. Huh? Yes. The husband was very abusive to you. It's true. You stayed there because of your children. My God! 22 years. 22 years. Wow. Prophesy. You're deep. 22 years. Hey! hey. Listen. Something just came into her and said, I have to leave. And she left. That's you just left. 2021. 2021. December 20. December 21, she just left. When she left, a new portal was opened over her life. And the Lord is saying, in 2025, you are going to, re, to, to remarry. And as you are going to hey. remarry, this oh, marriage no. is going to be the talk of Dallas, Texas. Uh, because Listen. Receive your marriages. Receive, receive, receive. Receive, receive, receive. Because your husband right now is in a place called Arlington. 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 Texas. Yes, yes. I saw him in the spirit. He is waiting for you. Yes. Can I tell you where your husband is now? Wow, yes. Reveal it. Oh, reveal, no. it. Ah, reveal it. The Igwe. Wow. Igwe. Papa, uh. many people don't know this. Uh. And I always love this. I, I always laugh at this with my wife. Mm. In 2011. With your wife? I always laugh Which at one? <laughs> Listen. The only one. The only one. <laughs> I always laugh with my wife. In 2008. When I opened my Facebook, I was typing and I was putting information on my Facebook. Something just came to me when you, it says, where do you live? I wrote, Ilios, Dallas, Texas, in 2008. And you gave me a prophecy that I'll go to Texas to do ministry. Hey! But I'd already put it on my... 2008. Eight. Hey! Capra, Abrahate. Listen. Whatever you would declare over your life, it will surely come to pass. I receive. Listen. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Apostle. There is someone that we need to pray for by the name of Kezia. Kezia. That's my oldest daughter. Kezia. Yes. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing this one trying to do like what your father is trying, was doing before. Because there is a, there is a call of God that's resting upon this one, and there's another call of God resting upon another one because I'm seeing another one in a, like a Bible school institute. Like that's Kezia, she's in the Christ for the Nations in Dallas, starting to be a pastor, a youth pastor. Yeah. Listen. Right now. Broad. God is going to raise that one Amen. in a way that you have never imagined. Amen. And God will use that one in a way that you have never imagined. Prophesy. And what your father could not do and achieve in hey. Dallas. Your daughter will achieve in Dallas, says the Spirit of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is saying, tell joy. Yes. Joy. That more joy is about to come to joy. Hallelujah. Ah. Amen. Release it. And your life. And your life is about to take a different shift like never before. Yeah. But there is a special grace that's going to come on someone that 
You might think you never expected it. But it's going to come upon this one. And I'm seeing a marriage breakthrough happening very quick. Amen. Upon Rachel. Oh my God. That's my middle daughter. That's your middle daughter. Yes. There is going to be a marriage break, a sweet one. You people are not here. Release it. Amen. Sweet marriage. A sweet. Sweet marriage. And the Lord is saying, what you struggled with, the attack from Obu, on your children, it will not come. Amen. Amen. And right now, Amen. as my father is standing here, we are going to break the case from Obu. Yes. Amen. Ah. Because, Papa, I don't know, I want you to confirm because I'm hearing this in the spirit. With the grace of my father. I don't know, there was a time when your mother was sleeping, she was hearing someone playing drums. And she didn't know where the drums are coming from. I want you to call her. She will tell you this. Okay. Drums Apostle, in the ear. As we are talking about the mother and the drums, mm. I saw Valerie. Mm. <laughs> Prophesy. <laughs> Odogu. Odogu. It's in Africa. When someone starts doing witchcraft spells for you, Jesus. You dream or you hear do -ku -do -do -ku -do -do -ku. Oh. people praying drums. You you, ah. I saw you. My she was God. just telling you. Now. No, on the day before yesterday. When Two I got, days ago. Even you. Yes. Go -do -go -do -go -do -go -do. When I got but home, I heard it in my car. Yes. Where this? The kudu kudu. And the kudu kudu. We are going to encounter it. Amen. Now. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. You Come spoke on. about who? Who is there in the Kuduguru? Mother. Mother, Mother been. Hey, that one. She's Pray. been attacked spiritually. Pray. And they live in but the village, the, and there's a lot of witchcraft in the village. But this one from the mother, it's uh, critical. It's critical. See something and pray. Um. Because, because this is Papa. This is this is one thing that I, I, I really wanted to speak to her about mainly, because uh. I'm seeing your mother being a beacon of light. Yes. Yeah. To your father. Yes. Because she's praying and praying and praying. Yes. But I'm seeing these witches going to attack your mother constantly. But I'm seeing this time the attack is going to come. They want to finish her. She wanted to go to the ER a few days ago. She's Jesus. It's, it's serious. They want to finish your mother. They want to kill her, especially before 26 May. Before 26 May. I don't know what connection you have with May. May is her birthday. May is her birthday. She's born in May. Yes. Before, to be specific, before 26 May. My God. What, 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 the doctors will talk about the heart, will talk about the pressure and stuff. But it's a pure witchcraft you need to destroy. Yes. You need to destroy. Or you also, yes, it has Papa. to be destroyed. Yes. It's not uh, a coincidence that you are inside a car and you hear this, you look everywhere. You can't see anyone or anything. It's not even from the radio. God has intensified your prophetic My ability. God, Papa. So what they are doing, God is alerting you through yes. discernment of spirits. I receive, yes. The enemy wants you to come to a place where things will just happen to you. Boom. Prophesy, Papa. But apostle prophesy and counsel for both Papa. of them. Papa. Then gundu, gundu, come to Yes, can I say something? And when I got off the car, I looked back and I saw the image. It was a witch and she was like this looking down at me when I, when I got out the car. And then that's when I started walking fast to the house. You did run. Yeah. No, I didn't run. I was you are alone, but... Uh, but I knew it was... Ah, yes, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw it. But there was no one there. No one. But she's seeing things. Why? Because in prophetically, God has enhanced her. So pray and break the... Gundun, 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 gundun. Me, ma, 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 has it. There is someone here. Hey! Hey! 
Much in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. In your family. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus, everybody. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus. Everybody stretch your hands. Apostle, as you were dealing with Ngundungundo, <laughs> someone actually had a dream where it's like, it looks like a village set up. There's like a tree, and people are under the tree. They are doing something. It's not clear what exactly they are doing. But this is also like a witchcraft dream. I don't know who that is. But we need to pray now and counsel and preserve a life. I don't know who that is. Come. Apostle, we are going to pray for you. Yes, sir. And we are going to reverse every witchcraft activities. Kaparakatetebohosha. Yeah. And uh, I saw my grandmother, we were in the village. Uh. Mother passed away a long time ago, right? Yes. So I was. I have been. Yeah, this so you can interpret, Apostle. Yeah, so many times. I saw it many times. Not one time. Not one time. I even had a dream. I also saw my mother in that dream. So all of them passed away. But you're dreaming of people that, that are dead. Village, in the village. On the gathering. village. Until I was really afraid. Pray and uh, cover you. The, the, the thing with him is he has an ability to start something, but he does not have an ability to perfect it. Because dreaming of someone dead, right? It's a spirit of death that's yes. coming after your life. But dreaming yourself in the village is a spirit of delay. Because you are being taken backwards. Jesus. So you dreamt of yourself with your grandmother and your mother in the village. Yes. And they are all dead. It means there is a spirit of delay that is bringing death in anything that you hold. That's, that's why you find out that even when you go for work, you don't stay for a long time. That's true. You are fired. That's true. You work for two months, you get fired. Oh, yes. You look for a job for three years, you won't find one. That's true. You bought a house until today. What you want to do with the house, you have not even done a single thing with that house. That's true. Do you understand what I'm talking about? That's true. That's very correct. In hey. the realm of the spirit, he has an ability to purchase things, to start things, to do things, but you don't have an ability to perfect what you have started. That's true. This so, is the it's because of the witchcraft and where it's coming from, Papa, it's a pattern from the mother's side. Jesus. That's it's true. a pattern from the mother's side. That's true. Where your mother come from, that's what has been happening all over, all over, all over. But the reason why you keep on seeing these things is because God wants to give you vision. To be able to break this witchcraft pattern from your mother's side. Amen. So that you can be able to pursue and be successful and be rich. Do you know that until today, until today, you are supposed to be one of the richest people ever. But, but, but the enemy has been holding you for years. That's true. That's true, Apostle. For years. That's true. The program you did. By now, the IT program was yes. supposed to enable you to become rich by now. That's true. But all that you try to do and to hold with your hands, it just dies. That's true. All, but all my friends are very rich. All your all friends are very rich. You are the only one. Yes. I'm the only one. You're the only one. Since 2013. You are the only one. Actually, there was an attack that came over his life that actually wanted to kill him. Around 2017, 2018, 2019, he almost died. That's true. I was very sick at that. You time. were very sick. Yes. You almost died That's around true. that area. That spirit, actually, around those days, you were actually having more dreams of your grandmother. That's true. And there was a time when you had a dream of your grandmother trying to call you somewhere. It's like yes. she wanted to drag you yes. somewhere. Yes. That's the time yes. where you would feel like your air wants to come out of your body. Oh, that's true. Do you understand Many what I'm talking about? I used but to call 911 all the time. You used to call 911 all the time. Yes. But today, you never call 911 again. No, since, since, since I put my feet... In this, in this, in this house, ah. I never been to the hospital anymore, unless it's for checkup. Unless it's for checkup. Yes, since Papa prayed for me. God is going to touch since you. Since he came before. to Amen. this house, yes. this house, 
never hospital. Yes. Hey. Amen. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Give me a J. J. E. 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 S. S. U. U. S. S. What do we have? Jesus. There is power in the name of. Jesus. Deliverance in the name of. Jesus. Glory. Papa. When we were talking about the spirit of death, yeah. I looked at her and I'm seeing two in the realm of the spirit. Mm. You. Bro. I'm not going to talk about your husband Bro. because your husband is delivered by God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But there is something we need to correct on someone like Zaire. Zaira. Zaira. That's my daughter. That's your daughter. Yes. Hey. Okay. Prophesy. Prophesy. Because I see she likes to sing. Yes. She likes yes. to sing. Yes. Yes. Beautiful voice. Yes. But I'm seeing her trying to open her mouth to sing, and I'm seeing her being choked. Wow. But Prophesy, this choking, yes. this choking yes. is not a normal choking. Wow. Prophesy. Okay. Yes. I'm seeing the enemy trying to end her. Prophesy. Break it. Break it. Prophesy. Prophesy. Go deep. Yes. Just shit. Zyra. 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 My daughter is a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm hearing someone like Zyren. Zyren, the brother. The brother. Yes. Wow, deeper. Yes, this is deep. Prophesy. Prophesy. But watch this in the Holy Spirit. With this one, God has preserved her already. Yes. Because when I'm seeing her trying to sing and she's getting choked, it's because she was chewing bamboo gum in her mouth. And when she's opening her mouth, the bubble gum goes on the throat. Mm, and I'm seeing her passages blocked. Spit it out. <laughs> she already has one already no. in her mouth. Yes, no. But prophecy reveals in yes. order to redeem. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. God is thank touching you, her. Thank you. And on Zyren, we need to be very careful, even yes. though we send him to boxing. Ooh, okay, yes, true. Though we send him to boxing. Wow. To fight. Yes. We need to be very careful. Okay. Because he's okay. finding it very interesting to do it. Yes. But I'm seeing the enemy trying to use that loophole to still end him. Wow. Okay. Because there is a spirit of death moving in your family. Yes. Yes. That we need to cancel. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Your daughter, yes. Caprice. Yes. I'm seeing her eating something. And I'm seeing something choking her again. Because wow. I'm seeing it's like she has got, what do you call this? Well, of course. Um, allergic? Allergics. Aller um, allergies. 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 Yes, yes, that's true. That's true. Huh? Yes, yes. You people are not ready for Prophesy. 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 It's like the enemy wants to just take everything from her. Yeah. Mm. Yes. First, it was the husband. Mm. He felt like something is choking him. Yes, yes. Right? Yes, oh my gosh. He, he almost breathe. passed out and died. Yeah, he couldn't breathe. Like he he couldn't breathe. Yes. And yes. second, I saw this one being choked again. Yes. And third, I'm seeing Caprice being choked again. Wow. Wow. And at the fourth one, I saw Malu, someone trying to choke him at school. It's wow. like there is a spirit that's moving within your family yeah. that wants yeah. to end your family. Yes, yes. But the hand of God. Jesus, yes. Hallelujah, yes. Listen, I'm seeing someone like, uh, is it Aaron or Iren? Aaron, Aaron, that is um, my brother-in-law's baby. Aaron. Yes, yes Aaron. Hey. Aaron, yes, prophesy. 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 Yes. You people, you are too. Yes. Hey. Prophesy. Hey. Prophesy. Yes. prophesy. The, the, the grace upon our Father and the Lord yes. Yes. is Thank deep. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Raise Amen. your hand. Amen. Say, my father. My, my father. father. I receive impartation. I receive, I receive impartation. impartation upon the great prophet of God. Upon upon the great great prophet prophet of God. God. Give me eyes to see. Give, Give me eyes, eyes to see. see. So that I can be able to navigate. So that I be able, able to navigate. navigate. Issues within my family. Issues within my family. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 We have to speak protection upon Aaron. Aaron. Amen. Amen. So that the hand of God yes. will rest upon this one because this Thank one is Jesus. a prophet. Wow. God wants to use this one like Thank never you before. Jesus. Yes. When I saw Aaron, I see someone like Alana. I don't know who's Alana. Oh gosh, Alana is a sister. Alana is the yes. sister. Yes, yes. Prophesy. Prophesy. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Prophesy. When I saw Alana, I see someone like Adian. Adian. Aiden. 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 Uh, yes. Who is that? Aiden boy. Aiden boy. That's the brother. Ah. Yes, the brother. Yes. Prophesy, Apostle. Prophesy. Oh my God. Go deep. 
Listen, yes. the Lord wants to do something special with your family. Wow. Yes. And the Lord Thank is you, protecting your family Thank you, against Jesus. the spirit of death. Thank you, Jesus. And whatever the enemy is planning, listen, yes. can I prophesy yes. to somebody here? Prophesy. Yes. Whatever the enemy is trying to do, whatever the enemy, the enemy will not succeed. It will not succeed. These ones you are now. Nah. You're These ones you are special, eh? Come. You. Come. Run. Run. Quickly, quickly. quickly. She's walking. Run. <laughs> ah. Professor. Alana. Aden. Aden. Aaron. Aaron. Give me oil. Put your hands. Your hands together. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Clap your hands for the master. I don't know. I, I don't know who has a connection with a name like Patricia. That's my name, first name. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really want me to prophesy or? You know what? I, I don't feel like you want me to prophesy. Prophesy! The Lord wants me to correct something in your body. Yeah. Huh? Inside your body. He wants me, especially in the stomach area. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Can I go deeper? Go deeper. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know who is in a place called Chivi. Oh, yeah. Chivi? Yes. Who is in Chivi? My. <sighs> Prophetic confusion. Uh. Lift your hands. <laughs> the Lord wants to open up something within you. Yeah. But I'm seeing complications happening in your stomach. Yes, all the time. All the time. I feel stuff moving. Something like moving snake. in your stomach, like a yes. snake within your stomach. Yes. Now, the, the Lord is saying, I'm about to deliver Patricia, huh. and I'm about to usher her into a new dimension Hallelujah. of healing. Hallelujah. And I'm about to break any it. form of disappointment that has been coming after yes. her life. Yes. Because I saw you move from this place you are disappointed. Not only physical relationship, even at churches. Yes. It's oh like you move from this church, yes. the church disappoints you. Yes. You move to another church, the church yes. disappoints you. Ha. So, whatever that's moving, the snake moving within your stomach, I'm seeing it as an attack that the enemy placed. It's like you were sleeping one day, and I'm seeing someone giving you food to eat in the dream. Mm -hmm. And the moment you were given food to eat in the dream, something just started moving within you. Wow. And that thing causes what we Jesus. call a spirit of disappointment oh to follow and to pursue over your life. But today, God is going to deliver you. God Amen. is going to make you free. Amen. In Jesus' name. Glory. Clap your hands for Amen. Jesus. Amen. Glory! Yeah, my in law. Huh? My in law. Your in law? Yeah. They are from Chivi. Your in law? Yes. We know from where? <laughs> Stand here. <laughs> <laughs> Prophesy. Lift your hands. Look at
I prophesy. Hey. Prophesy. Woo. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The leg of healing. Hey. Hey. Are you sure you want me to prophesy here? Prophesy. Come. Come. You. Come. Yes. Stand here. Ah, this one is watching me on YouTube. This one. And as he's watching me on YouTube, he's saying, I desire, where are the microphones now? He's saying, I desire to meet this prophet. Yes. Not only me, but you want to meet Papa. Huh? And when you came here, it was your dream come true when you met the gift and the gift the gift of the prophetic. But the Lord is saying, you coming here, it was a clear sign that your life is about to turn around. Wait. I'm going to release a double portion. Wait. Look at me. 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 Hey. Why are these guys zooming, zooming? Why are these guys zooming, zooming? I don't understand. Lift guys, him. Guys, Lift him. guys, it's like Satan is using you guys. It's for the glory of God. Please. Whoever is doing the camera stuff, please. Pro. <laughs> Lift your hands. Look at me. Why they put him on this one? Yeah. Hey. Lift this one. Glory. Glory. Look at me. Jesus. Look at him. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ah! Let her. Clap your hands for Jesus. Glory. Clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Raise your hands, everybody. In the name of Jesus, I want you to be in an atmosphere of prayer. Come. Because God is going to touch people here like never before. Lift your hands. Clap your hands for Jesus, everybody. <laughs> Lift your hands. Bring him back. Say, my father, my father. Bring him back. Father, my father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Your spirit will take over. Your spirit will take over. Lift up, lift up. Look at me, sir. Look at me, lift your hands.
Raise your hands. Lepato Sukubaha. Innocent. As you lay hands on her, come. You need to speak healing in that man's life. Because I saw him dying. And I tried to change it, but I was failing. So we need strong prayers. Where strong is he? prayers. Bayview. Yes. Where is that? In Baltimore, Maryland. We are from Baltimore, Maryland. God will touch him. Amen. But it requires your faith. Not apostles' faith, not my faith. Amen. But it requires your faith. Amen. He's my uncle. We know He's your him. uncle. Yes. Auntie Nemo Nima. 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 There is M is Msemo. Who is Msimo? Msemo is Nima before she was married to him. Her own son. Nimo M. Yes. The Lord wants to deliver and cover Amen. and speak a blessing in that house. Amen. So Apostle pray now. Papa, in the spirit, I'm seeing this one praying, but she's watching a screen, and the prophet appears on the TV, and I'm seeing this prophet from Malawi. Yeah. Huh? That's right. Bushiri. Yes. Appearing on your screen. Yes. And he's praying for healing and healing and healing and healing and healing. Yes. And you are resulting, I receive, I receive. Yes. But I in receive. the realm of the spirit, yes. I'm seeing something coming out of the TV, coming upon you. I receive. Huh? Yes. Because there is a grace that God has released already. I receive. That is going to change and catapult your personal life. I but receive. when I'm seeing this, as I've laid my hands and as my father has already declared in the realm of the spirit, yes, I'm receive. seeing someone by the name of Fox. Fox. Yes, Fox. That's Fox. his name. That's his name. Yes. Hey. He is going to be delivered. He's going to be hey. catapulted. I, I hey. And the healing of God has rested upon I him. Receive, I receive. I receive. I receive. I don't know. I'm seeing a letter T on him. T is a Tyrone. Tyrone. Is his name. He's, is his name? His name is Tyrone. <laughs> Tyrone is healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I receive. We receive healing upon Tyrone Fox. Thank you, Jesus. It's done. Clap your hands for Jesus. Natasha. Is that Natasha? Run. Run. My sin, way higher than the mountain, when the Lord sanctified me. My sin. Your sins were higher than the mountain, but the Lord God sanctified you. You are cleansed and washed under the blood of Jesus. Amen. But hear me and hear me carefully. I see you smiling. Amen. That's why I call you here. Number one, God is freeing you from the past. But for the future, I am seeing a financial breakthrough. Amen. This is what we call miracle money. Amen. The problem is the bank I'm seeing, I don't know if it's here in America, but it, I have never had a bank like this. But it is like blue lines as you are moving into the building. 
I know you are Natasha, but uh, where you are signing the papers are saying something like Aisha or something. Mm -hmm. Aisha King, but it's my first name. Aisha. Mm -hmm. The Lord says, count only two months from now. I am going to be Jehovah Jireh to you. And there is a transformation coming your way. Amen. The Lord says you shall witness peace that surpasses all understanding. And the prophetic gift shall develop more in you, says the Lord. Pray for them. Lift up. Remove our shoes. Lift your hands. Hey! Jesus. Done in Glory Jesus' name. Glory to God. Name. Hallelujah. Done in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I hear a name like Cummings. Prophesy. Prophesy. You prophesy. Uh, I will do this more than you continue. There's a blessing coming to you guys. Amen. Your amen is not uh, good Prophesy. enough. Prophesy. Amen. Prophesy. Maybe I try this one. Prophesy. Your amen is too small for me. Amen. 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 The Lord is about to bless you tremendously. Oh, amen. 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 The spirit of the Lord took me some by shot. Where? 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 I'm in Alabama. Amen. Alabama. Amen. Prophesy. These ones are not ready for prophecy. Prophesy. Prophesy. What does amen mean? What does amen mean? Where are you from? Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> now we're talking. Okay. And the people are tired now. Ah, uh, yes. I think they're tired. Uh, no, no, no. Please, please help her. Please, yes, please, yes, please, yes. please. Prophesy. Please Prophesy. Somebody shall prophesy. 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 I almost, I almost said a thought that his name is Abraham. Mm. And the angel of the Lord says he's not Abraham. Mm. But there is a blessing in their house. Prophesy. prophesy. So I saw something like a roll. Rolling. Rolling. That's my name. Prophesy. That's your name. Yes. Prophesy. And when I saw Roland, the same prophecy I gave to Natasha financial breakthrough Amen. is coming to you. Prophesy. But Prophesy. on you, it's not like miracle money. It's what we call Holy Ghost Prize. Oh. Uh -oh. Holy Prophesy. Ghost Prize. Release it. Because I saw trucks, 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 Prophesy. trucks. Prophesy. They don't want prophecy. Oh, they don't. Come on. I, I saw you running. I drive a, trucks. You drive trucks. I drive trucks. And I saw somebody calling you. I saw you hearing good news. I see you signing a contract. A tender is on the way to you in Alabama. The Lord says prophetic blessing is coming your way. And your lives will never be the same. Glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. I I show you don't want to prophesy. You're doing amazing. Yeah. No, prophesy is small. Small, small. Even small. Wow. Uh, prophesy. Hallelujah. Sarah. Sarah. This one. Pro prophesy. Prophesy. There's a connection between you and you. Prophesy. 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 Mm. Do you have sisters? No, ma'am. Do you have sisters? Yes. That's not right. What do you do? I'm a nurse. She's a nurse? Mm. What do you do? Well, I do private seating now. 
But what do you want to do? What I want to do? Yes. A boutique? Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going, I'm going. Because I'm catching something. Because mm -hmm. so I saw something with nursing, right? And I, saw, I said, this one, I said, I believe this is the one, but I saw a connection. Prophesying. But I saw the grace that God wanted to release. You're doing nursing now, Prophesying. but this is not really what you want to do completely. You want to be elevated because I saw your time, you like to serve but it's taking up all of your time. And so you're not able to be where you want to be. And so you like what you're doing, but you need an upgrade so that you can be in the house of the Lord. And you're doing something, but you're not doing exactly what you want to do. You need an upgrade and you want to go to another level and begin to do something that frees up your time that will go icy everywhere, all these different things. The things with fashion, even like you have ideas and you see things and you're like, oh, it would look better like this. It would look better like that. You can walk in, you can decorate, you can interior, you can make things look better. And you even somewhere, something with like runway, I see like if, you, if they had a fashion show, you could make the thing come together better. Problem but that. this thing, the connection is, is that God wants to release so that you both have time with the do the thing with God that you want. Prophesy. I was seeing prophesy. The money that you're getting is just, mm, you're getting by, but not enough. You even have, and so this thing you're doing kind of on the side and you're doing the other, and you're doing something on the side too. So you have two jobs. I do have two jobs. There there it is. Amen. 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 The Lord wants to change this because Amen. your heart is to do the things of God. Amen. You actually, I, it was, uh, oh, Jesus, deep. Mm. Even I saw something with, like, clothing and different things where you are like, oh, like, like with, like, a Mama Lily or myself. I, this would look good on there. Yes. This would look good on them. Yes. They said, and it's like, they want to dress just the prophets. Yes. Dressing the prophets. It's true. I was saying, yes. She had already Prophesy. had like a, she saw something where we be good. Prophesy. I saw you're going to do it. It's true. Amen. And God said to release the business grace for this so that you can Hallelujah. free up what you can do, what you're supposed to do. Hallelujah. You're going to be shifting. Amen. Calling for the shift in your position Amen. so that you can actually make more Amen. and do less Amen. so you can do things of God. Amen. You guys will, you'll be a, you guys will be kingdom funders. Hallelujah. When I say kingdom funders, do not forget this house. Do not forget the prophets. Because I'm looking at, and that's funny, I was doing zero, zero, and he's saying, I thought, did you say zero, zero? <laughs> I saw three, zero, zero, dash, zero, zero, zero. Hallelujah. This is actually an offering because there's a large contract something contracts have you do you deal with contracts yes yes I'm, I'm, yeah, in trucking, I'm, I'm like but you deal with contracts yes i saw a large contract coming Amen. I receive. you will be able to that will be your offering that you're going to actually bring Amen. you will testify and you will testify and you will testify because I hear you say I'm tired and you're tired doing what you're doing and you're tired doing what you're doing Amen. and God said to release the grace that you will be able now with business grace Amen. and be able to shift and transform but I see you being elevated 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 Amen. elevated 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 Amen. the favor that you will walk in out of nowhere just favor to be able to do the things so you can do the things for God Amen. it is done Oh, oh, heaven hey. on earth. Oh, 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 heaven ah, on earth. Heaven on earth. The connection was it. Sarah is the nurse too. The connection was it. And these are the nurses. And you're Sarah. And you're a nurse. I'm Sarah. I'm a Sarah. Sarah. Yes. Nurse. Nurse. Yes. Nurse. Nurse. And they're wearing pink, the same color. Pink. And they speak and they speak the same language. They speak the same language. Wow. There is a, there's a lady here that wants grace. Uh, and they both need husbands. Oh. Husbands. Yes. 
This is good. And they both have attacks in the dreams. This is Go ahead. It's Keep going. It's deep. I'm sitting. No, <laughs> please, Papa. It's deep. No, please, Professor. Papa. Please, please. I will lay hands on them, Professor. Oh, this is deep. Professor! Papa Rataka! This is really amazing. While I'm looking at them, there is someone that actually has a test in it and they want to be released in nursing it. It's a lady. It's a lady. Come. Yes. No, you can do better than that. I know, you're t I know you've been here for a few days. I know you've been tired, but this could be you. This impartation is very important. I heard in the spirit this is desperate because it's even like a fear of taking the test and stepping into everything. Look at both of their faces. It's, and they've, they've already passed the test. And there's two here and there's two there. Prophesy. Prophesy. And they all need a man. <laughs> Prophesy. Prophesy. Yeah. Hey. Prophesy. Glory. Somebody shout Jesus. Jesus. Raise your hands. Okay, Join hands. God is going to do something mighty. You guys, this is done. This is, this is done. As you are connecting, the power of God is being released. And it is done. But from the right. Ah, hey, 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 hey. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ooh, glory! Somebody shout Jesus! Jesus. Jesus. Hey! Glory! It's deep. I'm gonna cry. Oh, oh, oh. It's coming. Prophesy. This one, they need the healing. Healing. Yes. Yes. Prophesy. Prophesy. Because the enemy has been attacking this house with sickness and sickness. Prophesy. And God is going to touch you guys and is going to deliver thee. Amen. 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 Prophesy. And he is also going to deliver you from. You know, you can be delivered from money. I should explain. You should explain them too. Help him. Help him. The demon of money does not enter you. The demon of money will cause problems every time you get money. So you are not sick until your payday. Your mother is not sick until your payday. Mm, mm. You only have something going on on the week you are paid. They want to tow your car the day you are paid. And it's been happening to many people. And God told me today, deliverance from the demon of money is going to take place in this house today. They better shout fire. This ha, is, ha, da, da, ba, come on, Jesus. Hallelujah. Prophesy. This one is like diabetes, 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 diabetes. Yes. But everything is calm. Everything is okay. But the time comes, everything. So he starts losing things around him. He starts losing money, Prophesy. money, money. And they give you conditions. Don't do this, don't eat this, don't drink this, don't do this, don't do this. Prophesy. So you are in a place where you are limited. Help us, please. God is going to touch you. Yes, 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 yes. yes. On this so one, I saw this one in the hospital. In the hospital. Because I saw number two, I saw number three. And on the third of March, I see it's scheduled already. I yes. see you on a bed. 
I see they are touching your left breast. Yes. That is true. They Prophesy. are inserting Prophesy. something inside of you. Prophesy. But that I don't know true. if you still want to go. I don't no, 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 to no, go. no, 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 no. Oh, the prophet no. says the apostle no. can pray for no. you now. No. 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 Because it's scheduled already. We cancel that. I don't know what they want to put. They are, they want, they are they, talking that they want to put a metal to get me prepared for the original surgery. Because I saw two. I saw three. So it's like they want to do it twice. Yes. But it's starting on the third. They have already put they, one metal they did on one already. one metal already. I don't know these people. That is why you said two, and then there's the third. I saw two and I saw three. Yes. So the Lord spoke to me and he said, if you lay hands, we believe in miracles. We walk in miracles. Yes. Our God is a miraculous God. Yes, he is. Diabetes will go. Yes. Paka shata lako paradia kopo. Sante liga paradia kombra da hastes. You will be healed, Apostle. Yes. an angel. Angel Michael. Angel Gabriel. This man is going to be bling, bling. Uh, in fact, uh, prophesy them. Because my food is here. Uh, I'm extra hungry. So I want to gain energy a little bit. Prophesy. Glory. Yes. Prophesy. <laughs> so let prophet this prophesy. Pro. Give me a show. No, they did. <laughs> Pro. 
Even when I moved over here real quickly, I was, is someone here that's near the, from near the Congo? Anywhere? Anybody from the Congo? We share the, we're from Cameroon. Is that? Yes. Oh. Yes. 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 We share I, I'm sorry. Congo. Forgive me. I, I've never been to Africa yet. <laughs> you should. Asa. Asa? <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Really? Yes. So the. Indeed. I just met them here. But you met yes. them here? Yes. Wow. We're following you and uh, Prophet Love. Wow. Watching, that's what plays on the um, TV all day, all night. This is... We never knew this church existed, but we're following you. But <laughs> yes, we wanted to come see them in, uh, I think it's Atlanta, in California. And uh. I told him um, two days before, I said, you might be shocked that they will be coming to our doorstep. And that's in true. two days, that's he said, true. he started shouting, baby, guess what, guess what? I said, what? He said, they're coming. I just knew you guys were coming. Wow. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I was actually in preparing in the back, and I came in to see my grandfather, and he said, and I said something. I said, started getting names from the Lord and different things, and I heard something. I was like, something around the, in the Congo area. Oh, and then I, he said, it's here then. I said, amen. <laughs> and right when I stood here, I, God brought it right back to my memory. Prophesy, amen. Prophesy. Listen. Kata basta la pande. I just want you real quickly, just take two small steps forward. Hallelujah. You guys have children? Yes, we do have a daughter, Luna. You have a daughter? Yes, and, and we, lost, we lost one day. Two. Because, two losses. okay, because how many steps did I tell you to take? Two steps. Two. And how many children did you have? There was two. Okay. <laughs> yes. In the realms of the spirit. In the realms of the spirit, you are correct. They made two steps. Yes. But they have one child. Yes. Because they had two children. Yes. Because I saw no, something yeah. like Alo and I saw something like Alu. Mm -hmm. Alo, Alu, Alo, Alu. Big grandfather. They called him Alo. We, my, my grandfather's nickname was Alo. Alo. So in the realms of the spirit, I saw death. He died. Last he died. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes, that's true. Then they had a child. Mm -hmm. Because the children are supposed to be three. Mm. Yes. And something also was connected to a nickname. So it's like Alun and Alun. Luna and Lana. Luna, Luna. Deep, deep, deep. I say law something. Mm. Yes, sir. I don't know what happened to Lo. Um, Lana died. Lona died. Yes. That's it. So the Lord says we need to cover. Yes. Because spiritually, you are a warrior in the spirit. Jesus. Amen. Professor. Jesus. You are a prophetic warrior. Professor. Amen. You have been standing on the gate. Yes. yes. <laughs> and you're fighting wars. Yes. yes. But you have been lacking spiritual covering. Prophesy. So some of the battles we're fighting ended up attacking you yes. and defeating Prophesy. you. Prophesy. You are covering for people. Yes. You are seeing people even in your dreams. Yes. You get up, you begin to pray for them. Yes. I even Prophesy. saw another miscarriage. Jesus. After the death of this one, mm -hmm. I hear the Lord saying, no death shall touch your house hey. again. There we go. Yes. Because right now as Amen. we speak, the two Amen. days ago you were talking about, you also had a dream. Yes. And you were being attacked in the dream. Yes. You were Prophesy. fighting for the baby you are carrying right Prophesy. now. That's true. That's true. The fear you have now is to lose this baby. Exactly. But God is saying, my hand is upon thee. Amen. No weapon formed against you Hallelujah. shall I prosper. Amen. I Amen. I saw you are laying on bed. Yes. They put something on top of you. They are telling you bad news about this baby. And it last week. Yes. And they are saying there's a chance this baby will yes. not leave. But Dr. Java is saying. Glory! 
Hallelujah. By the name of Jesus Christ. No death shall touch your house again. The spirit of death is being cancelled right now. They are talking about the placenta. 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 They are also talking about the bladder. The Lord is saying whatever they were telling you, forget. Glory. The next time you are going to the hospital, the doctor shall be shocked. For the end of the Lord, ah, yeah, ba, ba, ba. Yes. remove Amen. the black stuff. Ah, yes. the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. You are going to receive an anointing of a prophetess in this house today. Yes. Amen. From today, you will prophesy. Amen. Amen. You will see in the realms of the spirit. Amen. You will soar like an eagle. Amen. For the prophetic unction is coming upon your life. Amen. I receive. I receive in Jesus' Amen. name. You are about to be my son. Thank you, sir. Amen. Amen. So, yes. so let me let yes. me let yes. me ask you for permission. <laughs> Can I touch the belly? Yes, sir. Hundred percent, sir. You have permission. Yes, was, uh, I just see love fixing the baby. Yes. Amen. So I want to fix the baby. Amen. Fix it. Amen. Fix it. And correct every arrangement in correct the womb. It. Correct it. The blood that everything is going to come Amen. into. Amen. Huh? Amen. I don't know why I saw letter J in the realms of the spirit. And when I saw J, I see this lady screaming in the hospital. Because what she's going to see here is different from the last report. Amen. 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 Permission. Yes, sir. Yes, Permission sir. granted. She nango patia saya. She ina makoya sayana masaya. She's in a theater in the spirit now. I see your baby moving now. John the Baptist was baptized in the mother's womb. And John the Baptist became drunk in mother's womb. I see the movement of the baby now. I see the angel touching your womb now. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Hallelujah. Oh. Yes, Lord. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Oh, look at Wow. Praise your name, Jesus. Paka Shatalamati. It's done in Jesus' name. Glory. Yeah. Somebody saw Jesus. Jesus. Give me a J. E. 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 Dr. Java. We believe in miracles. Amen. We walk in miracles. Amen. We dress miraculously. Amen. Look at the bishop. Amen. <laughs> I give you the grace. You the prophesy him his dreams, his visions. He already been seeing. I will make him, I will double him in the spirit, but Amen. locate what he has been dreaming and what he has been seeing and what God has been saying to him. You will do it. I prophesy, please, for my team. Immediately when I looked at you, I was looking at Daniel. 
And immediately I saw the favor that Daniel had. Amen. Not only is God giving you favor in the area, in the realms of like, um, seem like political and like government type things, like he's giving you very smart in this area. Amen. I saw that God even showed you, even every time that you read, you feel like you have a connection with you and Daniel. 100%. Yes. 100%. It is like very, almost, you feel like it's almost strange to you. Like you feel like you are, are almost, he lived the life you were living. Exactly. No matter exactly. where he go, I Prophesy. saw that like even he will rise to the top. If someone gets fired or gets moved, they will come to him. Yes. He's very dependable. Prophesy. He's very reliable. That you have, even yes. in um, languages and learning of things, yes. you are very you gifted in the area. Yes. And yes. people will always, they trust you and they yes. keep elevating yes. you. Yes. Yes. And even yes. I saw that it, this thing brought a tax to you because people are jealous of you. Yes. They're jealous because how can this man and this is what I, how can this man from Africa come into yes. this position and yes. he's raising to the top? Yes. yes. He's trusted. 100%. Prophesy. 100%. 100%. There's no true. mistake in this. That is true. There's no mistake in this. When you started dreaming, you started dreaming, but you didn't know the interpretation was going to come to you. Then it started moving from dreams to like visions. You didn't know yes. what to call it, but yes. then you just knew like God is speaking to me. Yes. And you yes. would wake up like I had a dream from God. You would tell her yes. I had a dream from God. Yes. <laughs> yes. He I saw that you time. would wake up in the middle of the night and it was like you wanted to like quickly get it <laughs> out. Something. Yes. He had to quickly. Yes, prophesy. I saw him quickly. Prophesy. It's like right next to even your prophesy. bed. He prophesy. has this like thing you with the stuff yes. in it. Yes. And he like, keeps this little thing because yes. he knows God. He's Glory. waiting for Glory. God to speak to you. Yes. yes. And then you go, uh, you, as soon as you deposit it, you go back in yes. and God will show you another no. dream. Yes. So he Prophesy. dream at night, it's like two or three. He will <laughs> speak to you through yes. the dreams. And I saw like Daniel, he was crying out. Like with Daniel, there's something he's crying Prophesy. out. Oh, this is where you have to help him. I see. He wants to be able to understand, and he's crying out for the interpretation, the gifting of the interpretation like Daniel, because God has shown him some very specific things. I saw it. They're written down. You know them, but you don't know, you know what, what they mean. Yes. And yes. I saw that he was looking online at, like, Bible uh, dream yes. interpretation dictionaries. All the time. All the time. Dictionaries. He sends them to me. So he that sends them to me. He does that? He sends them to me all the he's time. He's trying to piece it together. <laughs> yes. But God told him. The Lord told him that what he needed, that when he came this weekend, that he would get the, what, that he would get the answer, Amen. he would get the revelation, Amen. and he would be able to know. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. The crowd. <laughs> ah. Prophesy. Somebody saw prophesy. Does anybody prophesy. want to be able to interpret dreams else in here? Yes. Does yes. anybody else in here dream and want to interpret dreams? Yes. Come on, begin to praise hey. God. Jesus. Begin to praise hey. God. Jesus. One prophecy to one man is a prophecy to all. Hey. hey. This is amazing, but even when I'm looking at you, this, some of these things are coming to you right there. You, your dreams and things. You. Raise your, yes, you. Raise. You're dreaming. You're, you're dreaming the same way. And you're putting things together. You're not quite sure. She had a book. I see that. She has a book too, she said. Ah, this one. This one. See? Well, she was ready. So when we call to the crowd and we're shouting to you, we look because God wants to connect you to this man's word. Yes. Yes. I Amen. said God wants to connect you to this man's word. I receive. I receive. So I saw you with like books and bo you were trying to make peace, make sense yes. of them too. Yes. Yes. As I saw the fire that was on you <laughs> jumping over to you. Yes. Amen. I receive your fire. Amen. Amen. I receive the fire as yes. I Prophesy. <laughs> the Lord said that it is done. Amen. As he drew you here, there was three things you guys came for. And I didn't know you were prayed for yesterday. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, but yeah, that's why I think Apostle Paston gave it to me. And I was like, oh, no, no. <laughs> but God knew. Everything that you came for, you have received. I said, Amen. everything that you have come for, you have received. I Amen. receive. Everything that you have come for, you have received. I receive. Begin to praise him. I said, you have received it. I receive. I receive. This grace is released. It was this in the, in the area that you wanted this and then what you received yesterday. And also, nobody knew. Grandpapa, 
She went back home yesterday, last night. They got together their hands to pray. Lord, if this man of God in this house, I'm, we're connected, we're, we came this way, you will fix this baby. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They got yes. down and prayed together. Yes. They yes, agreed together that true. you would re Prophesy. even though you called them once. Hey. Prophesy. That Prophesy. they believed, Prophesy. they believed and they came into agreement together Prophesy. that if you did this, this one, they yes. thought that maybe yesterday Prophesy. that it was going to get picked up, but Prophesy. it didn't get addressed. They didn't mention it. Yes. So they went back down yes. and got before the Lord together. Yes. And they asked God to call them up again. Yes. Please don't yes. let this pass me back. Yes. Yes. I heard them. The prophet can release the grace. The Prophesy. prophet can fix it. Yes. The man of God can fix, fix it. it. They said these words together. Is it's this I, true or very true? It's very, very true. true. And I said, if you fix it, this is going to be my worshiping altar. I very said true. that to God. Jesus. Jesus is a good God. Prophesy. That is good. The same God that they heard them is the same God that is hearing you right now. I receive. I said the same God has heard you too. I receive. Where's the apostle? Read. Where's the apostle? Hey. <laughs> Prophesy. Prophesy. It's Prophesy. Time it's time to do it. It's not a coincidence that you are wearing these clothes. He said he was going to wear it and appear like... Um, I don't know if you heard about Bishop, Bishop Dancer, uh, uh, Dausa. Yeah. In Nigeria. He yeah. was a powerful, powerful uh, ah. man of God. He said, he No, like he, he actually it. saw it. Yes, I oh, had a dream when oh I was my God. And he saw myself <laughs> anointing him. I did. I did. That's why he had to put this clothes. There are other clothes he was supposed to I wear. I told him not to wear it because it was too much, and I know he would be falling down. <laughs> Prophesy. Prophesy. Hey. Ah. Ah. The prophetic is sweet. Jesus. I hate uh, making people stay long. But uh, this move is sweet. Yeah. Only, only today. Only today. Only today. Ah, it's deep. Koba Baba Yasika Day. God is going to pour oil on you today. Amen. 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 God is going to release favor and grace over your life. Amen. 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 Aye Bamanda. Bamunda. Bamenda. Bamenda. Yes. Bamenda. Yes, sir. <laughs> you are going to prophesy this one. Prophesy. Prophesy. Prophesy, man of God. Prophesy. Thank you, sir. Solution. 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 I don't know if you ever desired to venture into mining. Uh, yes, sir. Because I'm seeing gold <laughs> and minerals. He's yes, sir. dreaming about gold. I He's know exactly gold. where it is. He knows exactly like the position, everything. But this, this is the most interesting <laughs> oh thing God. about the whole situation. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know if there is anyone who, who knows how to specialize in gold or anything or minerals. Oh, Papa. Ah, sorry. <laughs> there, is, there, is, there is this type of mineral that is blue. I don't know. What's the meaning of that one? Uh, Tanzanite. Yes, Tanzanite. Tanzanite. Yes, sir. I saw God giving you a connection with a Tanzanite mi mi mineral. Amen. Mm. Amen. Which is going to make you a millionaire ah, within months. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because Hallelujah. you dreaming of the gold and stuff, it's not just dreaming of it, but oh it's actually God. something that God wants you to venture into. Oh. Amen. And the Amen. Lord says, just like Samuel, Samuel, yes. just like Samuel, yes. just like Samuel, 
in the portion of the scriptures. It's the same way I will enrich you with my gift and so that you'll be able to help and assist people since the spirit of God. Amen. Amen. The grace of prosperity shall rest on you Amen. like never before. Amen. And the grace of a prophet shall rest upon you Amen. like never before. Amen. You shall be used mightily of Amen. God in Amen. the season now and even in the season to come. Amen. In Jesus' name. Prophesy, sir. This is deep. Look, literally, I don't know if there's any connection with like um, an R connected to where you got this from, an R or anything. Um, the, this, the, look, how deep is this? I just, he just got this made yesterday. Mm. Look at the same color. That's deep. Look. This is his, <laughs> which tells you what they can see. This is the connection huh? with the gold. I'm connected to this place. So the, it, this you are is connected his, to this place. His Elijah. I saw a vision. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let me tell him. Okay, go write down your vision. Go write, write, write it, it down. Write it down. So people will know we are not guessing. So, all of you who didn't see, his, go his gold has blue and gold. So, we were having breakfast, and one of my daughters makes this jewelry. And I said, which one do you want? And he said he wanted blue and gold. So, she made it yesterday. She literally made it yesterday. And it says copo. It says copo on it, and it is literally blue, the same blue, not a different blue, and gold just like that. With, di with diamonds on it, just like his, and the diamonds. It's deep. It's as deep. Hey. When I grow up, I want to be passenger. <laughs> uh, this guy. Oh, there. <laughs> Which way? Christians, yeah, come. Professor. You want prophecy? Yes. You ready? Prophesy. I think he's ready. Prophesy. Initially, I saw when you saw this type of grace, that there was like almost, a, there was like a doubt, like this cannot be real. Yes. <laughs> and there was something, and as you kept seeing and kept seeing and kept looking, you were like, I saw the spirit begin to stir you. It's true. Literally, it was even to the point where, like, in your dream, you knew you had to come here. That's true. He knew in Prophesy. his dream he felt he had to come here. He was doubting. He wasn't sure. Like, can God move like this? I've been serving God. I saw you, like, casting seeds and scattering seeds. You were actually doing ministry. That's true. I've been planting seeds uh, to, well, this house and uh, through the uh, prophet Yahya that... Uh, my spiritual father. Yes. What you needed to see, when you began to see this, it began to actually stir because the prophetic mantle is actually just needing to be activated in you. I receive. I saw you watching almost like all the time. All the time. All the time. And literally every single morning I take my son with me and he's in the car with me and we watch. Yes. And I saw, I don't know if it's already happened or not, I saw him come to your dream and already and anoint you. Mm, I received. In this, but there was a season where you weren't able to really remember your dreams. So when we were talking, like fully remember them. When I believe when they were unlocking dreams, he said yesterday, every one of you will remember your dreams. You are gravitating to that because it's like you'll try to grab it, but it's gone. I never remember my dreams. And then literally, uh, I was uh. in the hotel the other night. And I let Prophet Yahya keep my phone. And I was doing a soul fast that night. And I was in the room by myself that night. And I told Yahya about the dream that I had. And it was the first dream I remembered in a long time. And it was the first one. I told Yahya. He knows. He's not here, but he knows. He wasn't able to remember. And he started watching you. And that's how you end up. The pool pulled you here. He was going to pray and release. Because not only will you be doing ministry. You're called to the prophetic, so you needed to be unlocked. I receive. Prophesy. Prophesy. Go I'll deep. unlock you. Go deep. I want it. I'll unlock you. Uh, go deeper. Go deep.
from today. From today. From today. From today. His life will never be the same again. Wow. This one. Brother, can you speak a blessing? Help her. Hi. I have this one. You, you have this one. I wanted to prophesy the dream in the vision because this one he wrote is separate from the one I see. So prophesy this one. I will prophesy all of them, but prophesy one vision. Me, I do this one. You, you do the other one. Amen. Because the one you are supposed to write is the one where you saw me. Yes. As Elijah. But he did not write that one. Yes. <laughs> we, me and him, we dream a lot. So we talk, we share dreams all the time. So, so he already so told you. Remember. Yes, he tells me everything. <laughs> he does. We, we figured if we have to grow in faith, we have to be together. Was she another prophet? Me. I was the Elijah. What were you? Elisha. What did I say? Elijah. Elijah. What did I say? He's my Elijah. son, Elijah. You said he is my son, Elijah, we were sitting here. I was Elijah. Yeah, you're Elijah. He was Elisha. Elisha. I already whispered to these ones. Elijah. And I was holding a horn full of oil. Yes. And I said, pouring oil. Yes. Pouring oil on this one. Yes. Amen. And that vision is about to be fulfilled now. Amen. But Amen. You want to tell the other ones written? Ah. Prophesy. Prophecy, don't think. You just do it. I unlock a realm in your life. Prophetic realm. The apostolic and the prophetic anointing be upon you. I, I keep hearing a name. It could be the same meaning or something, but I keep hearing something like a marvelous. Marvelous. I don't know what would be the meaning of marvelous, but someone will be connected to the meaning of the name marvelous. And you are here. Pro. Prophesy. 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 Don't think. Flow. Prophesy. Prophesy. What I saw was God revealing to you in your dream that you have this prophetic mantle. But yes. in the prophetic mantle, I saw literally it's like an eagle that had been soaring. Yes. And the eagle was resting and bringing something to your house, to bringing something to you. Yes. Okay. I don't know. And I, I, never told, I never told my wife. About you didn't tell yeah, her that one? She, There's a lot of things she doesn't know. Yeah. Bro. He goes in and out of dreams. You know, you can yes. only tell so much. <laughs> but I, like the prophetic eagle. And after actually it's interesting. I saw that. Um, I just saw that. That's all I saw. I'm, it, all I saw was it swearing. It was swerving and you saw it flying to you. Yes. Prophesy. Tell him. Oh, you told him? Yes. 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 You're doing good now. <laughs> Prophesy. Yes. <laughs> He's pushing me. <laughs> Give me the oil. I love this. Come, both of you, kneel down. I'll take you to be my son from this day. You know, you know, I know lo I'm no longer taking sons. I'm now just uh, doing prophetic schools and stuff. So whoever wants to be my son will go to Lovi or Innocent or Mama T or anyone. 
When you're qualified, they then now say, come be, <laughs> come close. I can't teach you how to read the Bible now. I don't have time for that. I can't be teaching you right now how to, to pray. Uh, I can't. I don't, the time may fast. Now I can teach you the third eye. Uh, the remote control power. Uh, give me the oil. Let it, be, let it be fulfilled as in the realms of the spirit. As God showed you, let it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let this house be a prophetic house. Let this house be a prophetic house. Mosai me asai, my mouth su pu pu asai. And I bless you and I bless your path. I empower your seed and I speak harvest. I decree and I declare. Why is it I see fire from you to the guy I prophesied diabetes here? Who is it? You left. Why is that now? There was a man I prophesied about diabetes. He yeah. left. With the wife, with the staff. Uh, you missed. Yes. Say it on the mic. Okay. Uh, as because it's ugly. As my Professor. grandfather began to, he's pushing me. This is what happens when you have fathers. <laughs> they push you. And he pushes me and stretches you where you before you before beyond what you think you can do. So he makes me uncomfortable all the time. <laughs> so um, I saw that where the eagle began to, when he started anointing him, I just started seeing some more. And as the eagle was soaring and it was coming on to, over to him, all of a sudden, I could see like the eagle beak and the eye moving. And he yes. actually was inside, like it was in, he was inside the yes. eagle and he was the eagle and he was actually seeing with the eagle yes. eye. I could see everything. I could see everything. I could see everything. And even when I'm awake, sometimes I don't know if I'm in this earth or somewhere else. But I hey! Yesterday, I saw an eye open, and when I went home, I could see in color. Before, I could see only black and white. It was blurry. Jesus! There are many testimonies from me last night. Even the miracle money, there are people that God dropped the miracle money for. Uh, spiritual, there are people that saw angels here. Yeah. It's been uh, too much. The man is back. Prophesy! Come. The wife had complications, hospital moments. Complications, hospital moments. But on the men, I don't know what is the connection. What's your name? Anthony Bissau. My name is Anthony. Huh? Ah! Ah! Professor. I must say the other attack. Tony, Tony. S O N G. Huh? This one is my last name. Yes. The Lord is remembering Mwangi's four last of name. you. Huh? Amen. Mwangi last name. God is remembering four of you. Amen. Amen. A special hand of favor. Amen. Amen. And God is touching the complications in your bodies. Amen. No weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Amen. The power of the prophetic be upon your lives. Amen. I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. It's done. Amen. Wallace will give you my number. Uh, 
all the tithers and people with the special seed come here. I want to pray with you. Which one is marvelous? Mavi. Where were you? Still listening to the service on my way. When I heard my last name, I made a U-turn and came back. <laughs> hey! Wow. But I, I, I forgot the prophecy. But you receive Prophet, uh, the, the prophet is telling us that innocent will follow the no finish. So you receive three prophecies. Come. Hallelujah! Hey! Glory. Castle of Rahate. Mutoni, but I ended up playing for yesterday. We'll go to the house after. Right. In the realms of the spirit, have you been as you've been praying for breakthrough, Amen. and you came here with the uh, with the heart of, I'm going to get exactly what I need. Amen. But then, as the time going on, I saw that you had thought that the Lord had forgotten you. Yes. <laughs> 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 and then as time was going by, you're like, oh, I got things I have to. And so when you left, <laughs> God called your name because he said he has not forgotten you. Amen. But I saw literally the discouragement because you have been overlooked so many times with things. Amen. You've been overlooked in positions. It's true. They chose different places. I've been with the, something with the house and they chose someone else instead of you. It's true. Yeah. And so these areas, it's been a pattern of just like accepting being like second or accepting, oh, I guess it's just not for me. It's not my season. But the Lord said you already prayed in faith. Amen. That it is your season. I receive. And Amen. it is your time. Amen. He said, I've not forgotten you. Amen. I don't know if I don't know if it's someone connected to you or with you. Is there um, anyone? Uh, any, anyone? Titus, with the give, B, give, with the give. All the titles and special B? seats give. Let me tell you, the Lord is saying, I make. Uh, he said, I'm making everything beautiful. Amen. I receive. No, no, no. I am making everything beautiful again. Amen. I saw some loss that you had experienced where it's like you had everything together and then all of a sudden, I don't know if it was a job or something happened, it seemed like everything was like taken away. Amen. It is your season for it to be restored, the Lord said. I no, I was like, that's near, you, you're not giving enough <laughs> praise. It is your season because I saw things coming to you because of the seeds that you've been sowing. Amen. And I saw people giving to you and I saw elevation with your position. Amen. I saw literally, even with the situation, I don't know, was some, there was something with your car situation in your car. I said, God said to let her know that canceling, I'm canceling. Let me tell you one other reason the Lord called your name back. Amen. There was going to be an accident. Oh, amen. Go deep. Go Jesus. Deep. Go there deep. was going to be an accident. Go deep. And the Lord said, when you came back and reversed it, it canceled what was out Amen. waiting for you. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Oh, hold on. I cancel accidents. Amen. I cancel misfortunes. Amen. I break it in the name of Jesus. Yes. No weapon that is formed against you Titus shall prosper. Amen. There'll be yes. nothing happening to your car. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There'll be no accidents. Yes. You shall live out all of your days, and your life will not be cut short in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Apostle. Jones. All tithers, drop your tithes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare upon your children.
upon your people, Father. Good measure, press down. <laughs> Shaken together, running over. May there be a special blessing. Who is this? Do you have a connection with Zimbabwe? Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes. I'm from Zimbabwe. You're from Zimbabwe? Yes. Do you know a person in a place called Mutare? Huh? Yeah. Mutare. Come. Mutare. There is a curse that we need to break from Mutare. Okay? Your sisters? Cousin, sisters. There is a curse that we need to break. We need to pray against prison with your son that the devil will not attack him and the enemy will not send him to prison. I'm seeing an attack, first of all, in his relationship that's connected to marriage. The second thing, I'm seeing someone trying to conspire against him so that he can be arrested. We need to cancel it right now. Okay? Bless you. See me after service. Raise your hands. Move this way. Thank you. Move down. There you go. Move down. Move down. Ketabasta lependiki. Ashas. Roto kostele pashata. Yeketeke. Receive. Titus, where are you? If I prayed for you, you can go. If I haven't prayed for you, you can come. In the name of Jesus. Ushers, all ushers, please stand behind him. Your ushers, okay. You got some oil. <laughs> where are you? Where is your mother? Amen. Uh? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know she was taking the video. <laughs> she was taking the video. I prayed for her. Come up. Tie payers. Tie payers. Paying your ties. Amen. 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 Listen. Clap your hands for Jesus quickly, everybody. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. I just need ushers. You been prayed for? You got prayed for? Okay, you're good. Anybody else that need any prayer up here? Up here. Hands up, too. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Make sure there's an usher behind them. Lepataka stilepa. Rotos stilepa. Yeki stilepa shitekia. Yanda kataba. Line them up. Line them up. Come on. Salaba shotoki. I can sing. Kataba. Just lightly. They can sing lightly, though. No, you're okay. Are you all tithers? Yes. Are you paying tithe? Pray, I'm coming, don't worry. Listen. Let me see your hand, everybody. If I prayed for you, go and sit down. I want to give another instruction, so I need a place to be. Drop your CD.
Listen, I'm looking for 10 people or 20 people. Are you listening? Wave your hand if you are hearing me. I'm looking for 20 people that God is going to touch at this minute. When, when God wants to touch somebody, he waits for somebody who is able to place a demand to the anointing for the touching to take place. I'm looking for, are you listening? <laughs> Look here. <laughs> She's okay. Look here. I'm looking for 10 people that are going to sow a seed of $1,000 towards the vision, towards the ministry of prophet passion, towards the building fund. Only 10. I want to release a special impartation for financial breakthrough over your lives. If you're one of them, run. I want you to run. 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 Run, 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 run. Listen, when God wants to change your life, he looks for an opportunity to change it. You will never change your life without him giving you an opportunity to change that life. So this is the time where God is giving you the opportunity so that he can change you, shift it to another level. How many people? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect number. It's deep. <laughs> raise your hands and raise your offering. I'm going to lay my hands on you. And as I do that, elevation financially, I will give you seven days from now. Some of you receive a letter from your phone. My father gave me grace to declare. Even if you're watching us online, I will declare. If you're giving your thousand and you're watching me online, I will declare seven day breakthrough. Is coming upon your life in Jesus' name. Raise your hands. Lift up your offering. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet, I declare and I decree, may there be a lifting and may there be a shifting in their lives. A financial breakthrough as they have sown into the vision of the prophet. I declare that money will locate you in every area of your life. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in Jesus' name. You, in three days, you'll see a testimony. In Jesus' name. In 14 days, I see clarification coming. In two days. In 24 hours. Clap your hands for Jesus. And I declare over your life right now in the name of Jesus. Within the next 24 hours, may you receive a testimony. I receive. Receive a testimony. Receive a testimony. Receive a testimony. I receive. In Jesus' name. Clap your hands for Jesus if you can. Drop your seed on the altar. Drop your seed on the altar. Is it done? Listen. On the third and then the fourth of March, we are going to be in New York. I'm expecting people to celebrate, shout, all late, getting ready to receive. So listen. If you stay in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York, I want you to drive. Even Maryland, come. It's going to be corrosive and the hand of God will be moving. So make sure you are connected to our, to our YouTube, Prophet Passion, for more details. Every morning we have morning devotions, morning lives. Connect so that you get the details that you do, that you so need in Jesus' mighty name. Amen? Amen. Thursday we have a prophetic service here. You don't want to miss that one. The Gaffer Prophet Passion will be doing somersaults in here. The prophetic like never before. So make sure you are connected as well. The hand of God will rest upon you. Lift up your hands, everybody. Stand on your feet if you can. Stand on your feet quickly. Raise your hands. Say, Father, I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you glory. Adoration. Thank you for your spirit. 
thank you for your power. Everything I've received in this conference. In a good measure. Pressed down. Shaken together. Running over. May there be a bountiful harvest. In every area of my life. I shall not lack any good thing. I've received in abundance. I'll go and implicate it. Implement it. Put it into practice. And there will be a shifting in my life in Jesus' name. Clap your hands like it's the last time you are clapping. Let's clap our hands for Mama T. Show us some love, everybody. Come on. Praise God. I, I call her the prophetic machine. <laughs> mama, mama. Lord, woman of God, I respect and honor her. Amen. You are a blessing. I love you so much. You know I love you now. She gets you know? Where my Ruth, where she my, Where my wife at? She, I don't know where she went, but I love her so much. Where my wife at? Do you know many people don't know my wife? What? I, I wonder. Oh, she's in the office. She's in the office. Another day. She's so beautiful. She's amazing. If you are a man and you are single, you need a wife. Come. I pray for you. You are, you are not single now. I connect to you in Jesus' name. <laughs> Let's go, Mama T. Let's go. God bless you. <laughs> oh, you want to be prayed for? These guys. I say, come to my inbox. <laughs> to my inbox. <laughs> With a talk. Oh, that's my beautiful wife. <laughs> Amen. So, her name is Mama Ruth. Mama Zamira. I just wanted them to know you. Oh, you have a wife? Yes. I have a wife. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Shalom, shalom. See you on Thursday. Amen. I think it's ladies. Hello, hello, ladies. All the ladies, attention, please.